just want to know what is troubling my husband. I'm fine. Thank you. I hope that you. What did I hear you say now? Were you expecting problem in a peaceful meeting I had with my late brother's children? No, no, not at all. Then why did you ask me such a stupid question? Sorry, sir. You better be. Come and serve me my food. I'm hungry. Yes, sir. Nonsense. Was Uncle Dimba angry that I didn't attend the meeting? Well, not really. Okay. But um, he expressed concern at the end of the meeting that he did not attend the meeting. So what really happened? Why didn't you attend the meeting? I forgot. And there was serious traffic on the road and that affected my movement. If not, I would have been back greeting. If not, I would have been back before the meeting or why the meeting was still going on. It's all right. It's all right. I will advise you to find a time to see Uncle Udemba and explain everything to him, okay? Okay, I will do that. Find a time as well to speak with um, Prince Zodimo. Okay, right. I will talk to him. It's okay. Thank you very much for everything. I appreciate it. Okay. Your brother just slumped. He just slumped. Come, please. What, what happened? I don't know. He just slumped. Come. What do you mean by he slumped? Just, just slumped already. Let's go. It is now very clear to me that Sonia wants to rubbish my name in this town and kill me. Mike, why are you saying this? Kenneth, you needed to be there to see the level of embarrassment she gave to me. But I thought, I thought she's changed. No, she hasn't. She has become worse than before. All she does is accuse me of having an affair with all the prostitutes in town. My God, you uh, are my man, you know. See, look me in the face and tell me the whole truth. See here, I'm, I'm like your, your lawyer, you understand? I am the only person that can talk to Sonia and she will calm down. Just tell me the honest truth. Are you having an extra marital affair? Kenneth, hmm? what kind of question is that one now? You of all people, no, now you should stop asking me that kind of question now. Eh? Is somebody speaking through you? I only want to. Be sure. No, 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 no! Don't ask me that kind of question. You know I don't do that kind of thing now. I don't put this thing in different places. I just channel it in one direction. You know, as my man, no. change is one. Thing no, 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 no! I, I don't like that kind of question. I don't like even like that kind of change. Eh? Don't do that now. You know I love Sonia. Now. Why, why, why would I want to hurt her? Eh? Kenneth, stop all this thing. If you're joking, stop it. I don't like this kind of joke. Sorry. I don't like it. Sorry. Doctor, I don't know. But his wife is here. She can explain better. Doctor, I noticed he was very moody when he came back after having a meeting with his uncle. I tried asking him what the problem was. He said nothing. I still persuaded. He said there was no problem. Then I went to the bathroom to ease myself. I'm coming out. I, I saw him slump. So we brought him to the hospital. It's okay. When he slumps, did he fall to the ground? No, no, no. I was fast enough to get him before he got to the floor. Doctor, what could possibly be the problem? Honestly, I don't really. But all I can tell you from now is that his blood pressure is only very high. Hey. But we've been able to administer some drugs of him. Our advice will wait patiently for the results of the test we carried out on him to come. Then we will be able to know exactly what is wrong with him. Oh, doctor, is he going to be fine? He will definitely be fine. 
You don't need to worry yourself. Okay? Doctor, no, doctor, please, can we at least see him? I want to see my husband. I'm sure you can see him, but not immediately. I will advise you give him some time because he needs to rest. Come on, don't panic. He'll be fine. The best thing you could did for him was to bring him when you brought him. Yes. It's okay, Doctor. Thank you. So don't worry. Okay. What really happened to him? Uncle, I can't explain. All I know is that the wife ran to Prince Onyek and I to tell us that Prince Uzodima slumped in his room. So why is the prince, his wife, and Onyeka? Um, they moved him to a private ward, though I don't know the particular one, but his wife and Prince Onyeka are with the doctor in his office. It's okay, it's alright. I, I will soon join you. Oh, okay, that's fine, Uncle. It's past 12 midnight. And a man that calls himself a responsible husband is yet to come back home. He's out there with another woman. While his wife is here in this house dying of loneliness. <laughs> Did I do something wrong by getting married? To this man. Did I? God, what kind of marriage is this? It's been a month ever since I got married to Mike and he's yet to touch me. It's been from one excuse to another. <laughs> Who knows the woman he's with right now? Who knows? My husband, what is the problem? Why are you still awake? I wish I can find sleep. What is the problem? What is it that has taken sleep away from your eyes? The prince and the throne. I just buried my older brother, the king of Obama in your cooking down. And the heir apparent of the throne just slumped today and was rushed to the hospital. He is there lying critically ill. Honestly, I am worried. Is that why you have decided to deprive yourself of your precious sleep? <laughs> eh? Of what use is sleep to me? Tell me, why will I sleep when the next king of our kingdom is lying critically ill in the hospital? Just tell me, why will I sleep when the king of this kingdom is threatened by, by something inexplicable, something I cannot explain? Tell me. At, at this point in my life, I don't need sleep. You need sleep. My husband, you need sleep. I mean, there's nothing you can do. Are you the doctor? Are you God? What do you have to do here? Just commit everything into the arms of God. That's all. Uh, please, uh, come, let's go and sleep. Come, let's go. You don't seem to understand, honestly. <laughs> Hi, 
How is he doing this morning? He's fine. Did you say fine? Yes. How can he be fine when he's lying on the bed? He actually woke up last night after he left. He spent some time with us last night before he went back to bed. He was the first person to wake up this morning. He slept off some minutes ago because of the drugs and injection administered to him. Are you for real? Mm -hmm. oh, this is good news. At least Uncle Udemba will be a bit relieved. I had he couldn't sleep last night, asking the gods to preserve the crown prince. Indeed, the gods really are fine. It's fine. Lilia, I hope you're comfortable with what you have done. It's not this one. Sonia, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Sit down! Sonia! What is this madness? What is wrong with you? Sonia! 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 Shivodemba. Thank you for your color. No. You're, you're welcome. Yeah, without wasting time, let me go straight to the reason I invited you. I'm all ears. Go ahead. Good. Shivodemba, now that we have successfully buried our king, every rite and ritual performed accurately in accordance with the traditions of our land. I want to ask you, is the crown prince, Prince Uzodemma, ready to commence the ritual process that will see him emerge as the new king of our kingdom? Oh no. Udemba. Before I will answer you that question, let me get something clear. Go ahead. Did you invite me here in your capacity as do you know, traditional prime minister, or as a concerned individual? Well, Udemba, whichever. The thing is that I did not invite you here just in my capacity as the Prime Minister of this Kingdom. But I invited you here as do you know the Prime Minister. Also, as a very close friend to the royal household. And of course, as a concerned citizen. Mm. Oh no. <clears throat> the crown prince needs our prayers. Yes, he needs our prayers very urgently for the gods to see him through. No, no, I, I don't understand. That the crown prince needs our prayers very urgently for the gods to see him through. What what um what will the gods be seeing him through for? I don't understand, yes. The words have ears. Oh, yes, I know. So let me whisper to you. Crown Prince is sick. He slumped yesterday and we rushed him to hospital. As I speak with you, he is in the hospital. But, but, but I, I saw the prince yesterday when I went to the palace. Uh, she wouldn't buy you sure of what you are saying. Oh no. I am a true son of my father. I know the implications of war to speak ill against the king or the crown prince. So take it to the back. The crown prince is sick.
Prince Uzodema, honestly speaking, I will describe what happened to you as a very mysterious illness. In my entire career as a medical doctor, I don't think I have ever come across such a case before. The level of your blood pressure when you were brought in here yesterday was really something else. But, doctor, you made us believe that it wasn't something serious. <laughs> yes. And that was simply because I didn't want to create fear amongst your people. But trust me when I say he's fine. My prince, you are very fine. And you are free to go home if you want to. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Tony. Uh, you have done well. Thank you for going above and beyond to help me get back on my feet. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I want to say thank you to everyone here, especially my wife and my sister, for always showing up every day and doing their best to ensure that I'm fine and I'm happy. Uh, my prince, you, you don't need to thank us. We did what we were supposed to do as a family. Thank you. Of course. They are wonderful people. I literally love you. Thank you. I wish you all the best. <sighs> Sit down. for your conjugal duty on me as your wife. What kind of wickedness is this? Eh? It's been one month ever since we got married and you haven't touched me. What is going on? There is nothing going on. Huh? I will do it whenever I decide. After all, marriage is not all about sex. What did you just say? You must make love to me tonight. Sonia, you lie. That cannot happen. Not after you eliminated my secretary in public today. Sonia, you disgraced me. Mm. Be prepared to see the worst disgrace. Until you stop messing around with all the prostitutes in this town. Who did you just call a prostitute? You opened that gutter of the mouth to call my secretary a prostitute? So, I've said this in this house in the last three months. Eh? You lie. A very big lie because I'm having it tonight. You're giving it to me. Yeah, what is this? No, 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 I want to thank the gods for sparing your life and bringing you back in peace. <clears throat> Three days ago, before you were rushed to the hospital, we had a meeting here. And on that very meeting, I told you to prepare yourself to accept the, the throne of our forefathers as the next king of Obama and Yogo kingdom. So I want to ask you now, how prepared are you? Uncle, I... I'm not sure you're going to like this, but the truth is that I'm not prepared for now. What do you mean that you are not prepared for now? Listen, Uncle, uh, let me just get straight to it. Uncle, I do not want to become king. Ha! Ah! I'm not interested. What did I just hear you say? My friends. Yes. You're joking, right? You don't joke with something as important as the throne of this kingdom. I'm not joking. Eh? Uncle, I do not want to become king. I'm really not interested. So what are you doing if you're not joking? <laughs> uh, 
let me pretend I did not hear you say this. But Prince Hughes are the man. He is too strong to be a wife for crying out loud. Huh? I really wish I knew getting married to her would have given me this level of pain. I wouldn't have done that. I swear, I wouldn't. What is her problem, Mr. She keeps on accusing me of having extramarital affairs. Mike, you know me too well now. I love my wife to hurt her. Do I have any other woman apart from Sonia? Well, to the best of my knowledge, no. You see, I really wish, I really wish you can help me talk to her. Make her to understand that I do not do the things that she thinks that I'm doing. Mike, why don't you give your wife the attention she needs? I, I really wish I can, but I cannot. I cannot do that because I'm a very busy man. I don't want to be poor again. I do not want my family to pass through the things that I faced in the past. See, my brother, that God changed your story and lifted you from grass to grace should tell you that he will never allow you to go down. Again. Amen. And more to that, you know the money I, I told you about. Don't forget <laughs> it. You know I need to source some things. Uh, well, it's not an issue. It's not an issue. We'll we get to our destination. We'll make the transfer for you. Uh, but still think about your wife, the ascension. It's very important. Come on. Okay, you know this thing is not possible. Okay, How is it possible? Yeah. Eh? I'm, I'm not Unyomu, but this is possible like that. It's not what you think. You're joking, right? Exactly the same question I asked him in the living room a few minutes ago. In the presence of Uncle Odenda. He looked at me in the face and asked, Why will he joke with something as serious as the throne of this land? This is serious. Very serious indeed. So, what did Uncle Demba say? In his words, he said, Let me pretend that I didn't hear what you just said. My prince, prepare yourself for the rites and rituals that will see you become the next king of this land. Good. I like that. Do you think that that will make him change his mind? Does he have a choice? We can't afford to lose the throne to another family. He has to become the king. I am thinking. Does he really know what he is doing? We have to talk to him. I have done that. He asked to be left alone. Really? This is serious. What is going on? We have to do something. Yes, we have to. Why would you say such a thing to them? Why would you open your mouth to tell your younger brother and your uncle that you are not interested in your life for that throne? Why can I not say that? Is it by force to become king of this land? Prince Suzuki, your late parents, especially your father, will be so ashamed of you right now in this way. If you say that to me again, I'm going to slap you. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Snap me! But that will not stop me from telling you the truth! What truth? What truth do you want to tell me? What truth do you know? What do you think you're talking about? Huh? That you are not supposed to tell them what you told them! Really? Yes! So you think I woke up and suddenly decided not to be king without a tangible reason? I'm listening. Tell me. It is too late. That is the first thing you should have done when you walked in here. Huh? But you... Get up and get out. I want to be alone. Out. Now. Move. Don't make me apply force. Nora. Move. It's not like I'm leaving. I don't want to Tradition is tradition or the nana banyo if a jimalan you know if you love me nana yeah oh man 
Has your husband told you what he said to Uncle Udemba and Prince Onyeka earlier today? I'm aware. And honestly, I don't think my husband knows what he's doing. What do you mean by that? Can you believe that your brother almost slapped me just because I told him that your late father would be so ashamed of him for taking such a decision? Would you believe that? Prince Uzadima is absolutely disgrace all of us. This is serious. Has it gotten to that extent? Hey, hey! Oku Ozadakwa! How could he say such a thing? Prince Uzadima wants to drag the family name to the mud. Too bad I didn't see it coming. This is unbelievable. Highly unbelievable. Are the elders aware of this? Not yet, but they will soon know. My husband, they don't need to know yet. Let's see if the prince will change his mind and accept the kingship. What if he doesn't change his mind? What do we do? This is no good news at all. It's not any good news. So Prince Uzodema wants the kingship of this family to, 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 to be taken away from us. No way. Cannot happen. I said no way. Not while I'm alive. Listen, Prince Uzodema must take up the responsibility. It is his responsibility. He must fill in that gap. My husband, how is it going to happen? <laughs> Are you going to force him to become the king? I, I, our tradition is sacred and harmless. It's there for the welfare of the people. Oh. Tradition is tradition for the nana banyo. If a jimalan you know, if you know menana, yeah. Oh menana gadigi day. Princess Odima, we want to have a word with you. I hope all is well. All is not well. And you know it. I see. Uh, what is the problem, Oneka? We want to know why you have refused to become the king of this great kingdom as demands by the tradition. Uh, let me ask you, Oneka Chuku. Do I not have the right to either reject or accept? Becoming the next king. I ask because I'd really like to know what is wrong with you. Do you all want to force me to become king against my wish? We are not trying to force you to become the king. But it is very wrong of you to reject the throne of your forefather. <laughs> my prince, our father, the late king, will not be happy with you for rejecting the throne. <laughs> well, I have made my decision and it is final. I'd like to be left alone. Left alone. To be doing what? To keep drinking? Listen and listen real good, Prince Uzodima. The kingship of this kingdom will not leave this royal family. You are the next king and that you must become. I see. You are going to force me to become king. I will do everything and anything within my power to make sure she don't ridicule the name of this royal family. All right, Onyeka, that's enough. Please leave this place while it's my turn. 
Now what will you do if I don't leave your project? Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Prince, what is the meaning of this? Keep quiet, else I'm going to do worse. This is not right. Honestly, I don't expect you to do this. I am going to deal with you if you keep talking. Prince, what's the man? I will leave because of the respect I have for you as my older brother. And because you are the crown prince of this kingdom. Not because I am scared of you. What game you are going to leave this place because you are scared of me? You are going to leave this place, but can I even make it a couple of years? Now I cannot say saying I call you will not like it. I don't want man cabal. I bum one man cabal. It's okay. I think I have one man cabal. It's okay. I want. You talk, I want. Let us go. Let's go. Let's go. I just got a call from the palace that Prince Onyeka and those of them are having problem. Oh my goodness. Are they fighting? How would I know? When I haven't gotten to the palace. Hey, what is wrong with these children? What is wrong with them? Anyway, your food is served. You have to eat before you leave. Oh, a man whose house is on fire does not chase fat. I'll meet you on the food when I come back. What kind of temptation is this? Huh? Ways of our fathers, we must uphold the tradition of our people. Anya gapo mena, o mena na banyo, me bezi o mene nuai. Our tradition is. I poured a drink on him because he spoke to me rudely. That's what happened. <laughs> I went to see him with Tadora to ask him why he refused to pick up the kingship as demanded by the tradition. He refused to do so. <sighs> Rather, he asked us to leave his presence. In attempt to make any other statement, he poured me the one he was drinking. Now, listen, all of you. This nonsense has to stop. I don't want a repeat of what happened today. You people must live in peace. Um, Prince Uzodim, the rites and rituals that will see you become the king of Obama's young kingdom comes up in two days' time. How ready and prepared are you? I'm not prepared. I'm not ready, Uncle. I thought I made myself very clear. I already made my stand on this matter. But I don't know. Why are we going in circles here? Will you shut up? Don't tell me to shut up, Uncle. I don't want to be king. Listen, I know what I want and what I do not want. And what I do not want right now is to be your next king. Please. Get your hands off me. Who asked you to speak? Keep quiet. She's your wife. A full member of this family. I'm going to ask you to get out of this place right now. Do you hear me? Prince Uzodim, are you all right? Choko, 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 what you are doing to me? Uncle, I am very all right. Please. I am very okay. And what I am doing is trying very hard not to allow you 
get me into the fetish and devilish things that you people do Hi. all in the name of kingship i am a christian i cannot be your king period our tradition is sacred and harmless it's there for the welfare of the people oh. Tradition is tradition Walking out on your entire family is totally wrong and unacceptable I didn't ask you your opinion now Did I? You do not need to ask for my opinion before I tell you the truth. I am your wife. It is my responsibility to tell you the truth always. I don't need your truth. Keep your truth to yourself. I don't need it. Please. Princess Odim, your late father left this family in your care as the first son. Why are you doing everything to tear it apart? Why? Again, I tell you, your late father will be rolling in his grave right now. Why are you trying very hard for me to hit you? Have I not told you never to speak to me like that again? Zorim, you threaten me again with slap. Go ahead. What did you say? Go ahead. Do it. But that will not stop me. That will not stop me from telling you the truth. Always. Open your eyes. Open your eyes and see that you're doing everything to tear this family apart. I wouldn't have called you if he's here with me. Tell me, what are your findings? Madam, what I found out about your husband is very disturbing. I will advise you leave that marriage. That's if you truly love your life. I don't understand. What don't you understand? Can you please go straight to the point and tell me what you found out about him. I will tell you all that you need to know when we see face to face. This is not what I will say over the phone. <sighs> all right. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. And thank you. Prince Suzorima walked out on me today. Frankly speaking, I have never felt this humiliated all my life. I never expected that Prince Suzorima can act in that way. Honestly. At this point, there is nothing anyone will tell me that will make me believe that Uzodima is still interested in the throne of his forefathers. In fact, my greatest worry now is how to get him convinced to do the needful. It would be a heavy slap on my face that I am alive and watch the throne of our forefathers leaving our family to another family. Hey, all because of who's the mass stupidity. God of mercy. Now, 
my question is what are you going to do? Can you figure me? Princess Nora, where is your husband? Why is it taking him a long time to appear before us? Or oh, have you not informed him that we're here already? Oh no, I delivered your message to him. I did. Then, why is he not here now? Hello. I see that you're here again with your man. How can I help you? What kind of question is that, Prince Uzodema? An anticipated war does not consume the cripple. We are here to start up the process that will lead to your coronation, your own coronation as our new king. So, why are you not dressed? Go in and dress and let's go for the ritual. My friends, as you can see, we are all set for the sacred rituals. Go in and dress up so that I can hand you over the royal house as the eldest of the royal family. Please, Susan, the man. Don't keep us waiting. Oh no, I can see that my uncle, Chief Udemba, standing to your right, clearly did not tell you everything. He did not tell you the truth. Prince Udemba, if I may ask, what truth are you talking about? I am not going to be your king. Shut up. How dare you say such a thing? Do not shut me up. Uncle, why are you trying very hard? to get me to do that which I have refused to do. Uh, my elders, please, don't mind my brother. He doesn't know what he's saying. I know exactly what I am saying. I will not be your next king, for I have totally refused to soil my hands with blood, to get involved in some devilish traditional practice all in the name of becoming king. It will not happen. Or well, you're tired of standing here with your men or no. You know what to do. Yeah, who's the man? Who's the man? Come back here! love yes since when please i am not your love and i'm sick and tired of this marriage allow me to go to my father's house and have peace of mind please now don't go now eh you know that marriage is for better for us eh? if you leave me how do you want me to be now eh please stay eh yes there is absolutely nothing you will say or do here that will make me change my mind no there's no point staying in a marriage where my husband cannot perform his conjugal duties on me oh yes i got the point eh 
You want me to stay so I will kill me, Abby? Ah, uh, ah, uh, no, now. Uh, I don't want to kill you. Uh, I've not killed even mosquito before. I'm not going to kill you. Please, now. You can't do very much. Mike, like you are you. an evil man. A wicked man at that. Allow me to go. I am tired of this marriage. Allow me to go to my father's house. Allow me to go with my life intact. Than to stay here and die for what I don't know. I am too young to die in the hands of an evil man who wants to make money by all things. Yes. Stupid man. Yes. You're not my husband, eh? Yes. When my husband comes, I will know. Get out. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Out of bag. Leave this bag. Mike. Don't be too fast. To Mike, make leave this bag. Leave my bag. Leave my bag. Mike, leave my bag. Don't sing for me. Leave my bag. You're, you're, you want to sing now? Who is it? It is me, Prince Onyeka. Onyeka, what do you want? I want to have a word with you. Go ahead, speak. I can hear you. My prince, please open the door first. Onyeka, it is clear that you have nothing to say. My prince, I said open the door. Let's talk like real brothers, please. I am a noble man of this great land, and I fully understand our customs and traditions very well. Seeing you people, I can see that all is set for the commencement of the ritual process that will make our crown prince, Prince Uzodima Anose, the king of our land. But my confusion and worry here is your presence here. Oh no, what brings you and the king's cabinet to my house? Okoro, son of late Ozalaribe, very great man of his time, a man known for truth. Peace and justice throughout the land of Obama in you. We bring you greetings for the king's cabinet. Oh no. Cabinet members, I greet you. So, what do I owe this August visit? An abomination has been committed in our great kingdom. Abomination, did you say? Who committed this abomination? And what has it got to do with me and my household? You are all in law, Prince Susodima. The fire the commencement of the ritual process. Will lead to his own coronation, his own coronation as the new king of this great kingdom, Obama Yubu. And he has the guts to look into our faces and told us that all we are doing is evil. And the ritual process that will lead to the coronation and even the tradition that makes us whom we are is devilish. Hello. Abomination! That is exactly what it is. Hmm! Okoro! Yana Abwananti! Yana Abwananya! You better talk to your daughter and her husband, Prince Uzodema, to do the right thing. Yes, they will be made to face the wrath of the land. I hope you know what will happen to you and your family in this type of situation. Okoro! Do the need. Do not say you were not wrong. For a station time saves nine.
Uncle, he refused to open the door. He said he doesn't want to see or talk to anybody right now. You mean Uzulima said that to you? Yes, he did. Does he know the consequences that will follow such action of his? It is very obvious he doesn't know what he is doing. So, what do we do next? I wish I know what can be done. Uncle Udema. Oh. Are you saying there's nothing we can do? Huh? How could the prince behave this way? Huh? I am still as confused as you are. What, what is wrong with Prince Uzodima? Huh? Yeah. This is very strange, you. I still can't believe that Prince Uzodima will act this way. He only wants to put everyone around him into a very big trouble. A very big trouble, you said? How? If we fail to convince him, we might be excommunicated from the land. You are joking, right? You mean a joke? Ono Wu and the entire king's cabinet wouldn't have been here to remind me of the consequences if we fail to convince our daughter to talk to him to change his mind and do the needful. If that sounds like a joke, is it a joke to you? Uh -uh. My husband, you are not supposed to be home by now. What happened? The worst has happened. How do you mean? I mean, come out straight. Okay, Femi. Could you believe that Prince Uzodima looked the king's council? In the face and told them that he does not want to sit on the throne of our forefathers. My goodness. That the traditional rites and all the rituals associated with uh, 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 his ascension to the throne are filled with evil. Can you imagine that? This is serious, though. This is serious. It happened before my very eye. I wish there is something I could do to make him change his mind. My husband, you are not supposed to sound this way. How do you mean? The chief Udemba that I got married to is a man of many sides. He can even make impossibility to become possible. So please, my husband, do something. Don't just be silent. Do something. Save us this embarrassment. Please, I'm begging you. I want to talk to you about your actions towards the entire King's Cabinet members earlier today. There is nothing to talk about. I suggest you go to sleep. A man whose house is on fire does not chase after rats. Why have you decided to chase after rats? Even when your house is about to be consumed by the fire you created. What fire? Calling the custom and ritual process that saw your late father emerge as the king of Obama and your kingdom and refusing to take up your position as the next king of this land. It's enough fire to consume the entire royal family. Why are you doing this? All right, it's very clear to me that there's so much about this land that you do not know. 
I don't want to go into that tonight. But I'll have you know that I cannot do what they've asked of me because I'm a Christian. You once believed in this tradition. You fought for it even as a Christian. What happened? Why did you suddenly realize that you're a Christian? I was once blind. But now I can see. You call the custom and tradition of our land evil and blind? Your late father was a Christian and a knight of the Roman Catholic Church. Yet, he held up the custom and tradition of this land as a king. Why are you not following your late father's footprint? My father lived his life the way he wanted. I'm not going to make the same mistakes that my father made. Sweetheart, let me ask you. Have you wondered why a crown prince of this land or anyone who is about to be crowned king would get on an ancient royal horse and go to a sacred place where a certain ritual that involves blood is performed. Have you wondered why? There's so much going on in this land that you do not know. We are Christians. We're not supposed to join them. No. We are supposed to do what the Lord says we should do. I hope you remember what the Bible says about idol worship. Mike. You mean Sonia, your wife, is gone, like you guys are not married again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I begged her not to go, but she wouldn't listen to me. Did she give you any reason for quitting the marriage? No, she didn't. She just woke up one morning with one useless statement that I'm a ritualist and I want to use her for ritual. Can, can you imagine that? What? Can you imagine? W where did she get that from? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think she just wants to go and enjoy her, herself. She wants to continue with that prostitution lifestyle. Oh, this is serious. This is serious. <laughs> so, what, what, what are you going to do now? Nothing. I don't even have an intention of going after her for her to come back. No. She doesn't even have any reason to leave the marriage at all. I, I know she just wants to go and complete her prostitution lifestyle. This is serious. So... What are you going to do now? I, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. In a week's time, I'll be leaving the country for Paris. I need to go and cool off from all this mess. Are you for real? Yes. When I return, I'll get myself a good woman. Oh. At this point, I'm speechless, bro. You have to be home. In a situation like this, is there no way out? You are the younger brother of our late king. And you are one of the highly respected chiefs in this kingdom. So I, I am surprised you are... You are the you know, traditional prime minister of our kingdom. Does it mean there is no way out of this situation? Chief Udemba, you see, I wish I am in the position to tell you the good news you want to hear. Mm. But I tell you this. The king's cabinet will surely do what they are supposed to do. 
if you and your family fail to do the needs. Because a tree that does not know how to dance is taught how to do so by the wind. My prince, this your decision is very dangerous. It is capable of destroying all of us. No, my in-law, it will not destroy us. It will liberate us instead. Such devilish practices have kept us captive. Held us down for too many years, my in-law. Huh? It is time for us to stand up as a people and set ourselves free. Oh, my in-law, stop saying what you are saying. What am I saying? What am I saying? You know, it actually beats my imagination that a very good Christian like you would sit here trying very hard to convince me into being a part of that devilish practice. It's not right. No, 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 no. no. Our tradition is not devilish. You think so? No. This is a long, age-long tradition handed over to us by our forefathers. Even your old father, your late father, was a knight of the Catholic Church and he did it. This is our tradition, our culture, and that is what makes out who we are. My Elo, let me ask you. Do you read the Bible? Yes. Good. You would agree with me that the same Bible that you and I read is against it. Why are you trying very hard to convince me into doing something that is against my Christian faith? Why? Father, if I am to say, I think my husband is right. Hmm? Why are we Christians if we cannot follow the teachings of God? Will you shut up your mouth? Laura, what is wrong with you? Eh? Have you forgotten that we, your parents, are the same people that introduced you to that same Christianity you are talking about. So why introduce me to it when you knew you were to practice it? Tradition has nothing to do with Christianity. We cannot sacrifice our tradition on the altar of Christianity. Christianity is the culture of the white man. Well, my in-law, please, let's... We don't have all day here. Truth is that the both of you, with all due respect, have not made sense to me. So you all can go ahead and do whatever it is you want to do. Uh, but since you cannot convince me otherwise, my decision stands. But father, he has made his choice. What do you mean? Well, the prince said he doesn't want to be the king. I, I don't know why people are still forcing him to do what he doesn't want to do. He knows what he wants. He's old enough to make his decisions, father. Ekele, are you sure you are the one talking? Or something is talking through you? I mean, it's a guy here. Obviously, father. I'm the one talking. Nothing is talking through me. Then, if you are the one talking, it's obvious you do not understand what I have just said. Father, I understood you quite all right. But I still maintain that the prince is old enough to make his decisions. He knows what he wants and no one should make him go against his will for no reason. I will. You've just returned from school. Eh? Go inside. Tell your mother to give you food so that you cool off your attention. You are not you yourself. I'm running to a meeting. <laughs> Father, he knows what he wants. Mom? Nani. I still can't believe that Princess Zodema looked into our faces and said we make no sense. What is wrong with that young man? What my, is wrong with him? My major problem is not the prince. My major problem is your daughter, Nora. She has taken sides with him. Nora. Yeah. So what do you want us to do now? What kind of stupid question is that? Who? Huh? Nani, is 
should be bothered about what will happen to us if Prince Uzodima refuses to do what he's supposed to do as a prince. Tell Agnes, stop asking me stupid questions and think of how to talk some sense into your daughter. Eh? Let us see point from our point of view. Otherwise, we will not be able to convince the prince. You know, here and now, Jomo, Nani, Nani, this is getting too much of you. It's getting too much of you. Which one is every time uh, your daughter, your daughter, your daughter, your daughter? Is she not also your daughter? Yeah, what is all this? Agnes, we huh? don't have time. Convince your daughter. Otherwise, otherwise. Is she not also your daughter? I don't know. Otherwise, what will happen? Okay. Your daughter, 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 your Really? We are still talking about this? Uncle, if I had known that this is the reason you assembled all of us here, I would not have honored this meeting. Honestly, I would not have. Uncle, look, enough is enough. Oh, yes, enough is enough. I'm a man. I have rights to my choices. I have made a choice, a choice not to be your king. Leave me alone. Come back here. Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? You talk to me in that room, mother, and stay trying to walk out of me? Have it at the back of your mind, Uncle, that I have made my decision and it's final. Nothing will make me become a member of your cult. Nothing will make me soil my hand with such devilish practice. It will not happen. Will you stop that madness, Princess Zodima? Stop that madness and stop referring her tradition as devilish. Oh, yeah, Keep quiet and let me educate you. What do you know? Huh? What do you know? Just so that you have a few things to say in this meeting. What do you know? Huh? I ask you, Onyeka Chuku, what do you know? How do you describe? Tradition that requires that you soil your hands with blood. All in the name of performing the ritual that enables you to become king. I'm a Christian. The Bible preaches against it. My faith stands against it. I will not do it. And that is final. Who did this to you? What do you mean? Nobody. I wish, Father, we are alive to see what you've become. You are a crown prince for goodness sake. Who's that? Yes. Just get set. Get ready for the rituals. Right. I'm not even moved. I will not. Be a part of this devilish practice, and that is final. Go out there, find yourself another king, not me. Really? We are still talking about this? Uncle, if I had known that this is the reason you assembled all of us here, I would not have honored this meeting. Honestly, I would not have... Uncle, look, enough is enough. 
Oh yes, enough is enough. I'm a man. I have rights to my choices. I have made a choice. A choice not to be your king. Leave me alone. Those are the women. Come back here. Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? You talk to me in that room, mother, and stay trying to walk out of me? Have it at the back of your mind, Oko. That I have made my decision and it is final. Nothing will make me become a member of your cult. Nothing will make me soil my hand in such devilish practice. It will not happen. Will you stop that madness, Princess Zodima? Stop that madness and stop preventing her tradition as devilish. Oh, yeah, Keep quiet and let me educate you. What do you know? Huh? What do you know? Just so that you have a few things to say in this meeting. What do you know? Huh? I ask you, Onye Kachuku, what do you know? How do you describe the tradition that requires that you soil your hands with blood? All in the name of performing a ritual that enables you to become king. I'm a Christian. My Bible preaches against it. My faith stands against it. I will not do it. And that is final. Who did this to you? Nobody. Nobody. I wish Father we are alive to see what you've become. You are a crown prince for goodness sake. Who's that woman? Yes. Just get set. Get ready for the rituals. Right. I'm not even moved. I will not be a part of this devilish practice and that is final. Go out there, find yourself a king, not me. My prince, what brings you to my humble abode? Problem. Problems, you said. What is the matter? Prince Suzodema, the crown prince, has decided to bring disgrace upon the royal family. My prince, I don't understand what you're saying. What exactly are you trying to say? Princess Zodima has refused to perform the sacred ritual but that will lead to his coronation and see him become the next king of our land. Hmm. My prince, I hope you know the gravity of what you just said. I have no reason whatsoever to lie against Prince Zodima. He said he's a Christian and he's not ready to soil his hands with the devilish act of performing the sacred ritual. May the gods forbid. He called it a devilish act. What is wrong with him? I am not here to find out what is wrong with him or not. I am here for you to consult the gods to find out if I, Prince Onyeka, can become the next king of our land. Konyeka, what is the meaning of what you did yesterday? I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. Konyeka, I have it on good authority that you went to D.K. Oha's house yesterday. Asked him to consult the gods to see if you can become the next king of this kingdom. Deny that you were not at his place yesterday. And why will I deny the truth? 
Onye e kachiko. Why? I want to know. Why are you doing this to yourself? Why have you chosen to abandon everything that you have and get yourself involved in this evil act? Why? Stop calling our tradition evil. It is what it is, Onyeka. It is what it is, Onyeka Chuku. It is mind-boggling to think that a man like you, with all of your education and everything that you have, have chosen to put all of that aside and get involved. In this evil, your people call tradition. One day, this is not you. I know you. You are under an influence. Who is this man that has brainwashed you? No one has brainwashed me. Rather, you are the one that has been brainwashed by believing in the religion of the white men that has come to destroy us. Watch what you say to me. Why do you believe that a tradition is evil? The white man came here and told you that our culture and traditions are very bad. You believed them. They brought Christianity and said that is the way to go. You believed them. Yet, the same people who brought Christianity divided us. They made us fight one another. They made us hate each other. They made our forefathers sell our brothers and sisters into slavery to suffer and die. Prince Ozodima, Christianity is the white man's way of life. We have our way of life and we must protect it. Tradition is tradition. I still wonder if I actually fathered you, Nora. Father, I don't understand. If I am actually your father, you would listen to me and not whatever. Your husband, the prince, must have said to you to brainwash you. Father, he has not said anything to brainwash me. So, what did he do to you that made you forget your background, our tradition, and who you are, Nora? We told you respect, Father. Let's call a spade a spade and not a walking tool. Truth is, there is something wrong with our tradition, which is very bad. May the ghost twist your mouth to the back for vomiting that rubbish before me. In fact, I cannot sit down here and allow you to vomit such abomination before me. Chief Udema, thank you so much for the cola and the drink. Please, can you tell us the reason you call us for this very meeting? <laughs> None. Um, I know the reason I call this meeting might not sound so right in your ears. But I want you people to think deeply about it. Oh, Chief Udemba, tell us your mind. Hmm? Go ahead and let the cat out of the glass. Yes. Um, let me go straight to the point. I want to be the next king of Obama in your kingdom. And I need your support. You're joking, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I expected this reaction from you people. 
Oh, yes. But let me tell you the truth. I am damn serious about it. <laughs> Chief Udemba, you know too well that it's not possible. You are my very good friend. And I will tell you the bitter truth. What you are asking for is impossible. I mean, what is impossible about this? When the crown prince told us clearly that he is not interested in the throne, will all bow my new kingdom stay without a king? I'm asking you people. Uh, Chief Udeba, remember Prince Onyeka is still alive. <laughs> prince Onyeka is not done yet with his education. Eh? He cannot abandon his good life overseas and his education to come here to become your king. Right. Oh. Mm, Chief Udemba, I don't think this is going to be a very simple task to carry out. <laughs> Leave that for me. Just to go home. Think about it. All I need is your support. That's all. My daughter, you need to calm down. Oh. Okay? Father is really taking this whole thing too far. Mm -hmm. You know, desperate situation, they say, requires desperate measures. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. You see, this whole thing is not as simple as you people think. Now tell me. How can a crown prince of this land wake up and decide not to take the kingship of this land? Is that possible? Mother, he gave them his reasons. He said that... Don't tell me that abomination, my daughter. All you need to do is to talk to your husband for him to do the needful. Yes. Mother, he has made his decision. And I am with him. Huh? When his decision is about to put all of us and everyone around us into a very big trouble. How? Is that what you mean? How? My daughter, let me tell you something. We might be excommunicated or banished from this kingdom if care is not taken. Are you serious? Yes. Oh no. And the king's cabinet. They informed us, they reminded us of that the last time they came. My prince, I am totally in support of your actions. Are you sure? Are you sure of what you just said? Yes. You don't believe me? But not that I don't believe you. I just wasn't expecting this to come from you. How about your father, Ikenai? Does your father know of your stand on this? Well, not really. But believe me when I say that. I am suddenly behind you. I mean, I will go extra miles to support you on this. <laughs> I can I? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much for the vote of confidence and support, I really appreciate it. And I assure you that we were going to fight these people to a standstill and get the desired change that we seek. Thank you, Ekele. I appreciate it.
who on earth could have believed that Chief Udemba of all people will have interest on the throne? Eh? Honestly speaking, I was very shocked when he made his intention known. You see, that is why they say trust no one. Now, what do you think we should do? What kind of question is that? Huh? You know that what he wanted from us was for us to give him our full support. And that's all. Hmm. Now, if we will give him our full support, like you said, will other elders and the know who do the same? Look, we have to do what is expected of us first. Don't forget, he has already committed us with his money. Agreed. Okay. He gave us the money. Mm -hmm. But when he gave us the money, he did not say or make it clear to us that the money was for us to support him. Rather, he kept on saying, go home and think about it. Go home and think about it. Chief Udemba that you and I know cannot just give us a hundred thousand naira each for nothing. Then ask us to go home and think through it with his money in our pockets. Does that not send a strong message to you? I think you, you are very correct. Oh. Uh, but all the same, let us go home and think about it. Like he said, mm. that's all. That's so, it. you know, when you're dealing with somebody like Chifu Demba, you have to be very careful. I mean, so mm -hmm. I, I You have to be you. very careful. You are very correct. I agree with you. Well, my husband told me that the process involves shedding of blood and some sacrifices in some secret places. Is it a bad thing for someone to go to the gods with a gift of a cow or a goat, which he may end up killing to them to thank them for the things they did for him or even pray to them? I quite may not support that entirely. But I don't think it was the blood of an animal that my husband meant when he told me that the process involves shedding of blood. I am from this land. And as a matter of fact, I am a prince. The ritual process that leads to the coronation of a king in this land does not involve the shedding of human blood. Are you serious? I mean, are you telling me the truth? And I have no reason whatsoever to lie to you. The process is a sacred process that helps us not to choose an evil one to be the crown king or someone who has shedded an innocent blood wrongly. Same person has to make a huge prayers and promises to the gods to enrich him with wisdom, truthfulness, and knowledge to lead our people. No evil person will pass through that process and come at alive. Interesting. The only thing that could make your husband act the way he's acting is only if he has a skeleton in his cupboard. If not, tell him to do the need for. I'm not hiding anything from you or anyone. So why are you kicking against the ritual process that leads to your coronation as the king of Islam? Why? So you want me to get involved in evil all in the name of becoming king? No. There is nothing evil about it. Rather, a 
the process helps to ensure that no evil man is crowned king in this land. I was also made to understand that there is nothing about human bloodshed in the process. Nora, who have you been talking to? Why are you not doing what is expected of you? Why? Why are you discrediting the noble process of this coronation? It's getting all confusing, Pastor. Confusing? How? Pressure. So much. Shall these people me into idol worshiping? They are trying very hard to get me to do that, which is a sin before God. You see, uh, it is not enough to say it. You have to stand your ground as a child of God, a true Christian, and resist in totality whatever that will make you go contrary to your faith and to the teachings of the church. I know who I am, Pastor. I know who I am. I'm a child of God. And no one will get me to do wrong against my creator. I am a noble man of this great land. And I fully understand our customs and traditions very well. Seeing you people, I can see that all is set for the commencement of the ritual process that will make our crown prince, Prince Uzodima Anose, the king of our land. But my confusion and worry here is your presence here. Oh no, what brings you and the king's cabinet to my house? Okoro, son of late Ozalaribe, very great man of his time, a man known for truth. Peace and justice throughout the land of Obama in you. We bring you greetings for the king's cabinet. Oh no. Cabinet members, I greet you. So, what do I owe this August visit? An abomination has been committed in our great kingdom. Abomination, did you say? Who committed this abomination? And what has it got to do with me and my household? You are all in law, Prince Sosodima. The fire the commencement of the ritual process will lead to his own coronation, his own coronation as the new king of this great kingdom, Obama Yubu. And he has the guts to look into our faces and told us that all we are doing is evil. And the ritual process that will lead to the coronation and even the tradition that makes us whom we are is devilish. Hello. Abomination! 
That is exactly what it is. Hmm. Okoro. You better talk to your daughter and her husband, Prince Uzodema, to do the right thing. Yes, they will be made to face the wrath of the land. I hope you know what will happen to you and your family in this type of situation. Okoro, do the need. Do not say you were not wrong. For a station time, Saves nine. I don't know What's the situation? Uncle, he refused to open the door. He said he doesn't want to see or talk to anybody right now. You mean Uzulima said that to you? Yes, he did. Does he know the consequences that will follow such action of his? It is very obvious he doesn't know what he is doing. So, what do we do next? I wish I know what can be done. Uncle Udema, oh. are you saying there's nothing we can do? How could the prince behave this way? Hmm? I am still as confused as you are. What, what is wrong with Prince Uzodima? Eh? Yeah. Hmm. This is very strange, you. I still can't believe that Prince Uzodima will act this way. He only wants to put everyone around him into a very big trouble. A very big trouble, you said? How? If we fail to convince him, we might be excommunicated from the land. You are joking, right? You mean a joke? Ono Wu and the entire king's cabinet wouldn't have been here to remind me of the consequences if we fail to convince our daughter to talk to him to change his mind and do the needful. If that sounds like a joke, is it a joke to you? My husband, you are not supposed to be home by now. What happened? The worst has happened. How do you mean? I mean, come out straight. Okay, me. Could you believe that Prince Uzodima looked the king's council in the face and told them that he does not want to sit on the throne of our forefathers? My goodness. The traditional rites and all the rituals associated with uh, 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 his ascension to the throne are filled with evil. Can you imagine that? This is serious, though. This is serious. It happened before my very eye. I wish there is something I could do to make him change his mind. My husband, you are not supposed to sound this way. How do you mean? The chief Udemba that I got married to is a man of many sides. He can even make impossibility to become possible. So please, my husband, do something. Don't just be silent. Do something. Save us this embarrassment. Please, I'm begging you. I want to talk to you about your actions. 
towards the entire King's cabinet members earlier today. There is nothing to talk about. I suggest you go to sleep. A man whose house is on fire does not chase after rats. Why have you decided to chase after rats? Even when your house is about to be consumed by the fire you created. What fire? Calling the custom and ritual process that saw your late father emerge as the king of Obama and your kingdom and refusing to take up your position as the next king of this land is enough fire to consume the entire royal family. Why are you doing this? Alright, it's very clear to me that there's so much about this land that you do not know. I don't want to go into that tonight. But I'll have you know that I cannot do what they've asked of me because I'm a Christian. You once believed in this tradition. You fought for it even as a Christian. What happened? Why did you suddenly realize that you're a Christian? I was once blind. But now I can see. You call the custom and tradition of our land evil and blind? Your late father was a Christian and a knight of the Roman Catholic Church. Yet, he held up the custom and tradition of this land as a king. Why are you not following your late father's footprint? My father lived his life the way he wanted. I'm not going to make the same mistakes that my father made. Sweetheart, let me ask you. Have you wondered why a crown prince of this land or anyone who is about to be crowned king would get on an ancient royal horse and go to a sacred place where a certain ritual that involves blood is performed. Have you wondered why? There's so much going on in this land that you do not know. We are Christians. We're not supposed to join them. No. We are supposed to do what the Lord says we should do. I hope you remember what the Bible says about idol worship. Mike. You mean Sonia, your wife, is gone, like you guys are not married again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I begged her not to go, but she wouldn't listen to me. Did she give you any reason for quitting the marriage? No, she didn't. She just woke up one morning with one useless statement that I'm a ritualist and I want to use her for ritual. Can, can you imagine that? What? Can you imagine? W where did she get that from? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think she just wants to go and enjoy her, herself. She wants to continue with that prostitution lifestyle. Oh, this is serious. This is serious. <laughs> so, what, what, what are you going to do now? Nothing. I don't even have an intention of going after her for her to come back. No. She doesn't even have any reason to leave the marriage at all. I, I know she just wants to go and complete her prostitution lifestyle. This is serious. So... What are you going to do now? I, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. In a week's time, I'll be leaving the country for Paris. I need to go and cool off from all this mess. Are you for real? Yes. When I return, I'll get myself a good woman. Oh. 
this point, I'm speechless, bro. You have to be, oh. In a situation like this, is there no way out? Jivugemba, when you are born, you are the younger brother of our late king. And you are one of the highly respected chiefs in this kingdom. So I, I am surprised you are... You are the you know, traditional prime minister of our kingdom. Does it mean there is no way out of this situation? Chief Udemba, you see, I wish I'm in the position to tell you the good news you want to hear. Mm. But I tell you this. The king's cabinet will surely do what they are supposed to do. If you and your family to do the need because a tree that does not know how to dance is taught how to do so by the wind. My prince, this your decision is very dangerous. It is capable of destroying all of us. No, my in-law will not destroy us. It will liberate us instead. Such devilish practices have kept us held us down for too many years, my in-law. Huh? It is time for us to stand up as a people and set ourselves free. Oh, my in-law, stop saying what you are saying. What am I saying? What am I saying? You know, it actually beats my imagination that a very good Christian like you would sit here trying very hard to convince me into being a part of that devilish practice. It's not right. No, 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 no. Our tradition is not devilish. You think so? No. This is a long, age-long tradition handed over to us by our forefathers. Even your old father, your late father, was a knight of the Catholic Church, and he did it. This is our tradition, our culture, and that is what makes out who we are. My Elo, let me ask you. Do you read the Bible? Yes. Good. You would agree with me that the same Bible that you and I read is against it. Why are you trying very hard to convince me into doing something that is against my Christian faith? Why? Father, if I am to say, I think my husband is right. Hmm? Why are we Christians if we cannot follow the teachings of God? Will you shut up your mouth? What is wrong with you? Eh? Have you forgotten that we, your parents, are the same people that introduced you to that same Christianity you are talking about? So why introduce me to it when you knew you were able to practice it? Tradition has nothing to do with Christianity. We cannot sacrifice our tradition on the altar of Christianity. Christianity is the culture of the white man. Well, my in-law, please, let's... We don't have all day here. Truth is that the both of you, with all due respect, have not made sense to me. So you all can go ahead and do whatever it is you want to do. Uh, but since you cannot convince me otherwise, my decision stands. But, Father, he has made his choice. What do you mean? Well, the prince said he doesn't want to be the king. I, I don't know why you are still forcing him to do what he doesn't want to do. He knows what he wants. He's old enough to make his decisions, father. Ekele, are you sure you are the one talking? Or something is talking through you? I mean, it's a guy here. Obviously, father. I'm the one talking. Nothing is talking for me. Then if you are the one talking, it's obvious you do not understand what I have just said. Father, I understood you quite alright. But I still maintain that the prince 
is old enough to make his decisions. He knows what he wants and no one should make him go against his will for no reason. I will. You've just returned from school. Eh? Go inside. Tell your mother to give you food so that you cool off your attention. You are not you yourself. I'm running to a meeting. <laughs> Father, he knows what he wants. Mom? Nani. I still can't believe that Princess Zodema looked into our faces and said we make no sense. What is wrong with that young man? What my, is wrong with him? My major problem is not the princess. My major problem is your daughter, Nora. She has taken sides with him. Nora. Yeah. So what do you want us to do now? What kind of stupid question is that? Who? Huh? Eh? Nani. You should be bothered about what will happen to us if Prince Uzodima refuses to do what he's supposed to do as a prince. Tell Agnes, stop asking me stupid questions and think of how to talk some sense into your daughter. Eh? Let us see point from our own point of view. Otherwise, we will not be able to convince the prince. You know, here and now, Jomo, Nani, Nani, this is getting too much of you. It's getting too much of you. Which one is every time uh, your daughter, your daughter, your daughter, your daughter? Is she not also your daughter? Yeah, what is all this? Agnes, we huh? don't have time. Convince your daughter. Otherwise, otherwise. Is she not also your daughter? I don't know. Otherwise, what will happen? Okay. Is it your daughter, your daughter, your daughter? Go oh, there, open it. Huh? Oh, tradition is tradition. Ordinana banyo. If a chimalan, if you look at a man, 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 We are still talking about this. Uncle, if I had known that this is the reason you assembled all of us here, I would not have honored this meeting. Honestly, I would not have. Uncle, look, enough is enough. Oh, yes, enough is enough. I'm a man. I have rights to my choices. I have made a choice, a choice not to be your king. Leave me alone. Come back here. Are you crazy? Out of your mind. You talk to me in that room, mother, and stay trying to walk out of me. Have it at the back of your mind, Uncle, that I have made my decision and it's final. Nothing will make me become a member of your cult. Nothing will make me soil my hand with such devilish practice. It will not happen. Will you stop that madness, Princess Zodima? Stop that man there and stop referring her tradition as devilish. Oh, yeah, Ka. Keep quiet and let me educate you. What do you know? Huh? What do you know? Just so that you have a few things to say in this meeting. What do you know? Huh? I ask you, Onyeka Chuku, what do you know? How do you describe? Tradition that requires that you soil your hands with blood. All in the name of performing the ritual that enables you to become king. I'm a Christian. The Bible preaches against it. My faith stands against it. I will not do it. And that is final. Who did this to you? Were they a man? Nobody. I wish, Father, we are alive to see what you've become. You are a crown prince for goodness sake. Who's that? Yes. Just get set. Get ready for the rituals. Right. I'm not even moved. 
I will not be a part of this devilish practice and that is final. Go out there, find yourself another king, not me. Really? We are still talking about this. Uncle, if I had known that this is the reason you assembled all of us here, I would not have honored this meeting. Honestly, I would not have. Uncle, look, enough is enough. Oh, yes, enough is enough. I'm a man. I have rights to my choices. I have made a choice, a choice not to be your king. Leave me alone. Come back here. Are you crazy? I'm not off your mind. You talk to me in that room, mother, and stay trying to walk out of me? Have it at the back of your mind, Oko. That I have made my decision and it's final. Nothing will make me become a member of your cult. Nothing will make me soil my hand with such devilish practice. It will not happen. Will you stop that madness, Princess Zodima? Stop that madness and stop preventing her tradition as devilish. Oh, yeah, Kat. Keep quiet and let me educate you. What do you know? Huh? What do you know? Just so that you have a few things to say in this meeting. What do you know? Huh? I ask you, Onyeka Chukwu, what do you know? How do you describe? tradition that requires that you soil your hands with blood all in the name of performing the ritual that enables you to become king I'm a Christian my Bible preaches against it my faith stands against it I will not do it and that is final who did this to you? What do you believe? Nobody. I wish Father we are alive to see what you've become. You are a crown prince for goodness sake. Who's that woman? Yes. Just get set. Get ready for the rituals. Right. I'm not even moved. I will not be a part of this devilish practice and that is final. Go out there, find yourself another king, not me. My prince, what brings you to my humble abode? Problem problems you said what is the matter friends so Zodima, the crown prince has decided to bring disgrace upon the royal family my prince i don't understand what you're saying what exactly are you trying to say princess Zodima has refused to perform the sacred ritual but i will lead to his coronation and see him become the next king of our land Hmm. My prince, I hope you know the gravity of what you just said. I have no reason whatsoever to lie against Prince Ozodima. He said he's a Christian and he's not ready to soil his hands with the devilish act of performing the sacred ritual. May the gods forbid. He called it a devilish act? What is wrong with him? I am not here to find out what is wrong with him or not. I am here for you to consult the gods to find out if I, Prince Onyeka, can become the next king of our land.
Konyaka. What is the meaning of what you did yesterday? I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. Onyek, I have it on good authority that you went to D.K. Oha's house yesterday. Asked him to consult the gods to see if you can become the next king of this kingdom. Deny that you were not at his place yesterday. And why will I deny the truth? Why? I want to know. Why are you doing this to yourself? Why have you chosen to abandon everything that you have and get yourself involved in this evil act? Why? Stop calling our tradition evil. It is what it is, Onyeka. It is what it is, Onyeka Chuku. It is mind-boggling to think that a man like you, with all of your education and everything that you have, have chosen to put all of that aside and get involved in this evil your people call tradition. One day this is not you. I know you. You are under an influence. Who is this man that has brainwashed you? No one has brainwashed me. Rather, you are the one that has been brainwashed by believing in the religion of the white men that has come to destroy us. Watch what you say to me. Why do you believe that a tradition is evil? The white men came here and told you that our culture and traditions are very bad. You believed them. They brought Christianity and said that is the way to go. You believed them. Yet, the same people who brought Christianity divided us. They made us fight one another. They made us hate each other. They made our forefathers sell our brothers and sisters into slavery to suffer and die. Prince Ozodima, Christianity is the white man's way of life. We have our way of life and we must protect it. Tradition is tradition for the Nanabanyo. I still wonder if I actually fathered you, Nora. Father, I don't understand. If I am actually your father, you would listen to me and not whatever your husband, the prince, must have said to you to brainwash you. Father, he has not said anything to brainwash me. So, what did he do to you that made you forget your background, our tradition, and who you are, Nora? We told you respect, Father. Let's call a spade a spade and not a walking tool. Truth is, there is something wrong with our tradition. Which is very bad. May the ghost twist your mouth to the back for vomiting that rubbish before me. In fact, I cannot sit down here and allow you to vomit such abomination before me. Chief with them. Thank you so much for the cola and the drink. Please, can you tell us the reason you call us for this very meeting? <laughs> None. Um, 
I know the reason I call this meeting might not sound so right in your ears. But I want you people to think deeply about it. Oh, Chief Udemba, tell us your mind. Hmm? Go ahead and let the cut out of the class. Yes. Um, let me go straight to the point. I want to be the next king of Obama in your kingdom. And I need your support. You're joking, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I expected this reaction from you people. Oh, yes. But let me tell you the truth. I am damn serious about it. <laughs> Chief Udemba, you know too well that it's not possible. You are my very good friend. And I will tell you the bitter truth. What you are asking for is impossible. What is impossible about this? When the Crown Prince told us clearly that he is not interested in the throne. Will Obama and your kingdom stay without a king? I'm asking you people. Uh, Chief Udeba, remember Prince Onyeka is still alive. <laughs> Prince Onyeka is not done yet with his education. Eh? He cannot abandon his good life overseas and his education to come here to become your king. Chief Udemba, I don't think this is going to be a very simple task to carry out. Leave that for me. Just to go home. Think about it. All I need is your support. That's all. My daughter. You need to calm down, okay? Father is really taking this whole thing too far. <laughs> you know, desperate situation, they say, requires desperate measures. What do you mean? <laughs> you see, this whole thing is not as simple as you people think. Now tell me. How can a crown prince of this land wake up and decide not to take the kingship of this land? Is that possible? Mother, he gave them his reasons. He said that... Don't tell me that abomination, my daughter. All you need to do is to talk to your husband for him to do the needful. Yes. Mother, he has made his decision. And I am with him. Huh? When his decision is about to put all of us and everyone around us into a very big trouble. How? Is that what you mean? How? My daughter, let me tell you something. We might be excommunicated or banished from this kingdom if care is not taken. Are you serious? Yes. Oh no. And the king's cabinet. They informed us, they reminded us of that the last time they came. My prince, I am totally in support of your actions. Are you sure? Are you sure of what you just said? Yes. You don't believe me? But not that I don't believe you. I just wasn't expecting this to come from you. How about your father, Ikenai? Does your father know of your stand on this? Well, not really. But believe me when I say that. I am suddenly behind you. 
I mean, I will go extra miles to support you on this. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much for the vote of confidence and support. I really appreciate it. And I assure you that we were going to fight these people to a standstill and get the desired change that we seek. Thank you. I can. I appreciate that. Who on earth could have believed that Chief Udemba of all people will have interest on the throne? Eh? Honestly speaking, I was very shocked when he made his intention known. You see, that is why they say trust no one. Now, what do you think we should do? What kind of question is that? You know that what he wanted from us was for us to give him our full support. And that's all. Hmm. Now, if we will give him our full support, like you said, will other elders and the know who do the same? Look, we have to do what is expected of us first. Don't forget, he has already committed us with his money. Agreed. Okay. He gave us the money. But when he gave us the money, he did not say or make it clear to us that the money was for us to support him. Rather, he kept on saying, go home and think about it. Go home and think about it. Chief Udemba that you and I know cannot just give us a hundred thousand naira each for nothing. Then ask us to go home and think through it with his money in our pockets. Does that not send a strong message to you? I think you, you are very correct. Oh. Uh, but all the same, let us go home and think about it. Like he said, mm. that's all. That's so, it. you know, when you're dealing with somebody like Chief Udemba, you have to be very careful. I'm in support. Mm -hmm. I, I you agree have to be you. very careful. You are very correct. I agree with you. Well, my husband told me that the process involves shedding of blood and some sacrifices in some secret places. Is it a bad thing for someone to go to the gods with a gift of cow or a goat, which he may end up killing to them, to thank them for the things they did for him, or even pray to them? Mm. I quite may not support that entirely. But I don't think it was the blood of an animal that my husband meant when he told me that the process involves shedding of blood. I am from this land. And as a matter of fact, I am a prince. The ritual process that leads to the coronation of a king in this land does not involve the shedding of human blood. Are you serious? I mean, are you telling me the truth? And I have no reason whatsoever to lie to you. The process is a sacred process that help us not to choose an evil one to be the crown king or someone who has shedded an innocent blood wrongly. Same person has to make a huge prayers and promises to the gods to enrich him with wisdom, truthfulness, and knowledge to lead our people. No evil person will pass through that process and come out alive. Interesting. The only thing that could make your husband act the way he's acting is only if he has a skeleton in his cupboard. If not, tell him to do the need for.
there any telephone in your cupboard? What kind of question is that? I mean, are you hiding anything from me? I'm not hiding anything from you or anyone. So why are you kicking against the ritual process that leads to your coronation as the king of Islam? Why? So you want me to get involved in evil all in the name of becoming king? No. There is nothing evil about it. Rather, the process helps to ensure that no evil man is crowned king in this land. I was also made to understand that there is nothing about human bloodshed in the process. Nora, who have you been talking to? My husband. Why are you not doing what is expected of you? Why? Why are you discrediting the noble process of this coronation? It's getting all confusing, Pastor. Confusing? How? Pressure. So much. Shall these people me into idol worshiping? They are trying very hard to get me to do that, which is a sin before God. You see, uh, it is not enough to say it. You have to stand your ground as a child of God, a true Christian, and resist in totality whatever that will make you go contrary to your faith and to the teachings of the church. I know who I am, Pastor. I know who I am. I'm a child of God. And no one will get me to do wrong against my Creator. God. The maker of heaven and earth. allow anyone to deceive you. It's getting all confusing, Pastor. Confusing? How? Pressure. So much shall these people me into idol worshiping. They are trying very hard to get me to do that which is a sin before God. You see, uh, it is not enough to say it. You have to stand your ground as a child of God, a true Christian and resist in totality whatever that will make you go contrary to your faith and to the teachings of the church. I know who I am, Pastor. I know who I am. I'm a child of God. And 
no one will get me to do wrong against my creator. God. The maker of heaven and earth. May God strengthen you. Amen. My prince, I least expected this from you. You're a Christian. And your late parents were strong Christians. Same process my father passed through before he became the king. That your father, the late king, made such mistake, is it enough reason for you to ask your elder brother to make the same mistake? My father never made any mistake. My father did the right thing. The right thing? Idol worshipping? The right thing? Listen to me, Pastor Raymond. The same Chuku Kika Biyama who created heaven and earth, whom we pray to and believe in, is the same God that you pray to and believe in. My friends, even when blood shedding is involved, a pastor, I know at some point in the Bible, blood sacrifice was made. And I want you to have this at the back of your mind, that no human blood has ever been shed during or after the process. What we do is to offer animal as a sacrifice to Chukokika Biyama. The same way in your church, your members come to the church for offering with cows, goats, chickens, to thank God for what he has done for them or things he's about to do for them. Have a nice day, Pastor. Hey, our tradition is sacred and harmless. It's there for the welfare of the people. Oh, tradition is tradition. If Do I look like someone who would drive all the way from my house to your house to crack a joke? Ha. I don't expect a man of your caliber to say what you just said. Mm -hmm. In other words, you are insinuating that I am not fit to be a king. Is that what you are saying? <laughs> I'm very sure you know what my personal answer would be. All the same, I will consult the gods on this. Thank you. <clears throat> so, let me wait for the outcome of your consultations with the gods. Yes. You all are here. Of course. To what do I owe this visit, if I may ask? Princess Odemma, I got a camera in Kitong. We have come to find out what has kept you 
from doing what you know you should do. You speak in parables. Okay. Let me make it clear. Why have you not made yourself available for the ritual process that will lead to your emergence as a new king of our kingdom? I thought I made it explicitly clear. But I do not want to be king. I would not involve myself in devilish practices. Prince, what is that? What are you who met it in the chair? In the more tired of one How dare you call such process a sacred process? An evil practice. What is wrong with you? Do you want to attract the wrath of the gods upon yourself? Hmm. Princess Odemma, it is very, very clear that you want to make yourself available for the devil to use against this great kingdom. Make yourself available for the ritual. Make yourself available for the ritual. Hmm. Else, the royal kingdom will lose the throne and we will be prepared for the consequences that we follow. It's obvious Dikwa does not want me to become the king of Obama in your good kingdom. Why do you say so? It's written all over him. I saw it in his eyes while he was talking to me. Don't you think you might be wrong in your judgment? How do you mean? My husband, I think you should do this. Do what? You should forget about this kingship you are getting yourself involved with. Please! Why do you say so? You have made it clear that Diko Hadi, chief priest of this kingdom, is not in support of you. Don't you think he might work against you if you eventually become the king? Diko is so infinitesimal. He is no match. He cannot stand on my way. I sense desperation in your voice. Call it anything you like. But I cannot see it and allow the kingship of this kingdom move away from this family to another family. It's not possible. My prince, it seems you have accepted to perform the ritual. Why would you say that? Walking into the palace, I saw the, um, the Ono and some elders. They were smiling as they, as they were leaving, and that passed some kind of uh, messages to me. Oh, well, they came here telling me to make myself available for, for the ritual. Else the throne would leave this family and would have to deal with the consequences that follow. And what did you say to them? I told them that I will not be a part of that evil process. So why were they smiling as they were leaving? I don't know. I couldn't be bothered. My father would not be happy with this development. I know. So how are you going to handle this? Uh, Ekene, please. Can we drop this topic for now? As it pleases you, my prince. Thank you. Thank you. I've not seen Princess Adora since I returned. Where did she go? Oh, she traveled back to school to get a few things sorted out, but I'm pretty positive that she'll be back in the next few days. How have you been? I've been well, I've been all right. That's good. Honestly, the level of anger and seriousness I saw on the face of Uno and the other elders when they were talking to my husband while I was watching through the window. 
is something to be worried about. This whole thing is really getting out of hand. It is. The worst part is, my husband is not even ready to do what they are asking him to do. And the elders, they are not ready to go back on their words. My sister, if I tell you I know what else to do, I am the worst liar in the world. I'm confused. I am. I don't know what else to do. Have you tried talking to the prince since the last time we met? I did, though. I did. You know, that, that, that night I came back, I met with Prince Sonika. He talked to me and made me understand that the ritual process is not bad and it has nothing to do with, you know, human blood as my husband made it appear. So that night, I tried having a conversation with my husband about it. But he yielded nothing positive. If not, my husband will not be telling the elders he's not going to do what they're asking him to do. Tired. What have I not prayed about? How have I not prayed? In which way? In what way? I have prayed and prayed and prayed. I'm tired. I'm tired. I am. Uh, I'm going by what you told me that happened at the palace. I think. What we should be asking ourselves now is which family will the throne go to? Ijeoba. Yes. That's not got into that level. What makes you think it hasn't got into that level? <laughs> Ijeoba, we have just returned from the palace where we went to warn the prince. I think we should give him that benefit of doubt for now. Yes, I agree with Ukono. Uh, we don't have to bother ourselves for now about which of the families the throne will move to. Or rather, we should pray for the prince. In that case, um, let's go into other issues between us in this king. Yes, I think uh, more important issues like the land cases and the rest of them. That land, that, the land you mentioned, that reminds me. You see, the, the problem with that land is the other one close to the stream. Ichi Okono, what was the meaning of what you just did at the meeting a while ago? I don't understand. Uh, what did I do, Chief Ibe? Spare me the pretense. Chief Ibe, uh, honestly, I am confused and lost here. What did I do? Please tell me. I expected you to present Chief Demba's intention of becoming the next king as soon as Ichi Uba asked where the kingship will move to. You got up and started saying a different thing. Okay. Eh? Okay, now I understand where you are coming from. Uh, but Ibe, you are my very good friend. You should understand. I did what I did for a reason. What reason? What reason? Onyara <laughs> Nuchiya. I wanted to know their mindset. Besides, I did not also want to make the presentation in such a way that they will understand that it's Chief Udemba that is pushing to become our next king. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. I will handle the situation. It's okay. It's okay. Because mm -hmm. I, I thought I, I, I knew we had a plan. You that was why I, I... You know me, you should understand. We, we have our plans already. So things should go according to plans. The great Dikoha. The marked peace of the gods. He that dines and wines with the ancestors. 
Once again, I humble myself before you. Prince Unyika, hmm? a worthy son of the kingdom. Oh, Moa. I greet you. <laughs> Adikoha, I am here in respect of my last visit to you. I want to know the outcome of your consultation with the gods in respect of becoming the king of our land. You are indeed the son of the soil. I know. The real lion of our late king. You are qualified and free to become the next king of this kingdom. Mm. <laughs> oh, you didn't know? Huh? You find a book on him, man? I want to be. That's me for you to look at your brosa. Oh, why? That's an angwa bulu, man. May the gods be praised. All the time, all the time. At last, Prince Susan Dima will be stopped. For bringing shame and disgrace to the royal household that is all. and the kingdom at large. Mm -hmm. The ways of the gods are not like that of men. If a hakuru kage me, my prince. Thank you once again. My prince, mm -hmm. I greet you again. If you look at him, okay, me. <laughs> <laughs> my fellow youth. You see, it is glaring enough to know that things are not moving on well as it's supposed to go in this land. And if care is not taken, I assure you, there is going to be a serious problem in this land. Okay. A very serious one. Okay. Um, Kelechi, you have spoken well. Thank you very much. There are too many things going on in this kingdom. But I want you to tell us exactly why you called us for this meeting. You see, our youth leader is very correct when he said there are a lot of things that are going on in this land. But the sole reason I insist we must have this gathering today is this particular issue concerning the throne and the crown prince. Um, Kilichi, you have done well. You see, I've always known you to be a good man. Thank you for making this meeting a success. Thank you. You see, I was actually wondering why our youth leader have been so quiet about this whole thing. Yeah? Or them? Uh, well, um, Emeka, that is a very wonderful observation. Um, but then, like I said, this is not the reason we are all here. Yeah? For me, as an individual, yes, I took my time, you know, observing things, you know, understanding the whole event and asking myself why. You understand? Now, for this, I'm going to use this opportunity, uh, our youth leader. Um, I want to use this opportunity to ask us a few questions that has also bothered me for so long. Mm -hmm. The first question is this. What should we all do, you know, to ensure that the situation does not go out of control? You know, and then the second question. What should we, the youth of this land, do, you know, to see that the crown prince do the exact thing we all are expecting him to do? Well, I think we should meet with the elders. To know the true situation of things. Yes. Okay. Uh, if you ask me, I think that's not the best option here. Okay. I think we need to march to the palace. You know, as huge that we are. Let's face the prince one on one and let him understand that he has no other option than to do what is expected of him. Mother, mother man doesn't know she's a mom. No. This thing is getting out of hand. Eh? Uh, um, you have a great point there. Yeah. But we, I support you. But we, the youth executive, we can't just go there alone. We have to mobilize others so that when we get there, the prince will know that we, the youth, are not happy. Yes. He's done. Um, my fellow youth, honestly, I am very happy right now with the you know development so far so good. Okay. You know, it shows that the youth have the interest of this land at heart. Yes. You know. Obi is right. The whole youth of this land should go to the palace. 
Um, my youth, my fellow youth, uh, going to the palace in mass, in my own opinion, I think it will raise more attention to the royal household. Yes, they may be scared, thinking that the youth are coming, you know, to fight them or something. That was why I was uh, trying to discuss with the, uh, the youth leader, saying, in my own opinion, it will be very much better if we just go there in handy. That way, the prince will be relaxed to see us and talk with us. They will seize that same opportunity and sound it to him as a warning that he does not have another option. No. That he does not have another choice than doing the same thing every other single person in this land is expecting him to do. Another wisdom. Yes. Great to you to win. Presido. Presido. Great to you to win. Presido. Um, you all have spoken well. Hmm? Thank you very much. I suggest you all should go home. I will plan when we move. Uh, Presido, you have spoken well. But the thing is, let it not look as if we are we are we are we are done talking and we not decide on the date on when to go. You understand? Because me, I'm a very busy person. Eh? Time now, money. You understand? Mm, yeah, I'm no, traveling right. tomorrow. There's a business I'm going to do tomorrow, and I can't afford to miss it. So we need to choose a date, like today, today, today. today. Let's go. Like even as we speak. Kelechi, Kelechi, Kelechi. I don't think I'll be chance. Wow. Uh, you see, this issue now, we have to apply diplomacy in it. It's very correct. It's not what we should, you know, we should rush into. Mm. I suggest we should, let's just take it one after the another, please. Yes. No problem, let's go home, I'll get back to you. Huh? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyhow, we'll mm. just see right. how we'll do it. I'm, I'm just um, trying to let us... And what brings you to my office at this time of the day? I am here to talk to you about my brother, the crowned prince of our land. I hope all is well. All is not well, Pastor Raymond. My brother is about to destroy the entire kingdom. The entire kingdom? Yes! What did he do? He has vehemently refused to become the next king. He said he will never perform this sacred ritual that will lead to his coronation as king. I just returned from school and I was told that the owner and the entire king's cabinet came to the palace to warn him to do what is right, else... The throne will move to another family. Yes. And the royal family will suffer the consequences that follows. You are aware of this already? Yes. I know everything that has been happening. So what stopped you from talking to him to do the right thing? I know my brother. He respects you a lot. I know he will listen to you. Princess Adora, I've talked to your elder brother, Prince Ozadema. And we're on the same page. Listen. He cannot perform the said ritual because it is evil. It is evil. The church is against such practice. Hmm, let me see. Now I know where the problem is coming from. You are among those misleading my brother. Pastor Raymond, I am very, very disappointed at you. How could you advise the prince to do something that will work against the royal family? Oh, come on, Princess Adora. Stop sounding like an unbeliever. You are a Christian. This has nothing to do with Christianity. Why must we throw away our entire customs and traditions? All because we are Christians. Princess Andorra, you're getting it all wrong. Remember that the church is against idol worshipping. How can you, as a Christian, support your brother to indulge in idol worship just because he wants to become the next king? I should have known that coming here will not yield any positive fruits. Pastor Raymond, I want you to have this at the back of your mind that I am very, very disappointed at you. Princess Adora, remember you are a Christian. Mm. 
Brother, are you sure people are taking the right step? Right step? What are you talking about? I heard everything people discussed in your meeting today. Nkone, the last time I checked, you are not one of the youth executives. So you we are busy listening to our conversation. You are very correct. I am not part of your youth executive. And I don't have the right to eavesdrop on your meeting. But we all are from this kingdom. And if anything goes wrong, it will affect all of us. That's a good reason you have to act fast before something gets wrong. We all cannot sit back and watch things go wrong. Well, if you say so, no problem. But my only concern is that you are my elder brother. Who happens to be the one involved? If anything should happen to you. Um, nothing will happen to me. The gods knows that I'm doing the right thing. Ha! Nay, what is it? What is it? Ha! Nay, why are you taking my food away? So you have the girl to ask me that stupid question? Eh? What this? What this? You're not ashamed of yourself? What did I do that made you to be talking to me like this? What is it again? Your daughter and her husband are about to put us for force in the very big problem. And you are here eating. You're not even bothered about what is going to be for us very soon. Agnes, do fear one. So, what do you want me to do? You are the one who insisted we should marry our daughter away to the prince. Just for you to answer uh, the, 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 the queen mother. Queen mother, my foot. If you know what is good for you, go and advise the prince eh, to do the needful. Otherwise, there is not going to be any food for you in this house again. Never. Oh, my husband, please don't say that again. I have said it and it is final. No more eating in this house for you. Our tradition is sacred and harmless. It's there for the welfare of the people. Oh. Tradition is tradition. Odina na banyo, ifeji malani no, ifulo mena na, omena na, omena na, omena na, omena Adora! Adora! Is something wrong with you? Adora, are you out of your mind? You dare to report me to the pastor? What is what is your problem? Are you are you crazy? Huh? Yes! I have gone crazy! And you're the reason for my madness! You are about to destroy what father labored for and stood for. I am going to shut you all with a slap if you do not shut up right now. You can go ahead and slap me as many times as you want. But it's not going to stop me from telling you the truth. Brother, why are you bent on destroying this royal family? Why? Why? You know, it beats my imagination to think that a very beautiful woman like you, young and intelligent, is so interested in some devilish, archaic tradition in this modern age. Adora, Awadiwadi, is everything okay with you? What you're asking for, Adora, is barbaric. Barbaric? Barbaric, brother? What is barbaric about a unique tradition that ensures we do not have evil man as king? What is barbaric about a tradition that discourages the shedding of human blood? What is barbaric 
about a tradition that ensures that any man that sits on the throne is truthful and just. Brother, it is only a man that has something up his sleeves will be against this wonderful, beautiful tradition of ours. That brings me to ask you, is there something you're hiding from us, from your family? Talk to me. Adora. Deceased. From this foolishness. Before it gets too late. Our tradition is sacred and harmless. It's there for the welfare of the people. Oh, tradition is tradition. I was made to understand that the ritual process leading to anyone becoming king of this land does not require shedding of human I was also told that this process has to ensure that no man with human blood on his hands or any man with evil intentions for this land is crowned king. I don't know who fed you with that nonsense. Tradition is tradition for the Nana Banyo. If a Jimalan, you know, if you know, men I am a daughter of this land, your wife. Am I not supposed to know certain things concerning this land? A kingdom that I am supposed to rule with you, my husband. Nora, I will not be performing any devilish ritual. So get that very stupid illusion of you becoming the queen of this kingdom someday out of your head. Why are you seriously running away from what tradition demands of you? Prince Odima, what skeleton do you have in your cupboard? What kind of nonsense talk is that? Call it whatever you like. I need you to open up and tell me exactly what happened the day you came back and claimed that you had an accident and rushed the person you knocked down to the hospital. What other truth do you want to hear besides what I told you the day I came home? If you really had an accident of such magnitude, how come there was no single scratch on your car that day? Are you interrogating me, Nora? Are you insinuating that I have blood on my hands? I 
I seek truth. I want to know why my husband, the crown prince of this land, an heir to the throne, does not want to do what is expected of him. Your best is not good enough. What do you want me to do? I'm so confused. I don't know what else to do. Being confused is not a good quality. That should be associated with one that is to become the next queen of Obama in your Google kingdom. What do you want me to do? Stand up and go extra mile to ensure that your husband does the right thing. Posterity will not forgive you. If you don't do your duty and he fails, from the look on your faces, I can tell that you all are not happy. What yes. is the matter? Yes, we are not happy. We are here to ask you why you have refused to obey our tradition. Have I spoken your mind? Yes, you have. I see. Let's not beat about the bush. I will not be your next king. For I will not involve myself in the barbaric tradition. I see it as evil. I see it as wrong before God. So I suggest that all of you Get yourselves together, go back home and save yourselves the stress. Princess Odima, are you walking out of the entire youth of this great kingdom? Listen to me. When the music changes, the dance also changes. Oh, uh, my fellow youths, I sincerely apologize for the misconduct of the crown prince. Please. Find a place in your heart to forgive him, for he does not know what he's doing. My prince, we are not here to listen to your apologies. Tell the crown prince to obey our tradition, else the entire royal family should get ready to dance to the music we play for them. Princess Odima, it is very clear to me that you're all out to destroy the wonderful legacy that our father has built over the years. But I have good news for you. I will not sit and watch you destroy that and achieve your evil end. What would you do? Force me to get involved in this barbaric tradition? Our tradition is not barbaric. Not at all. And to answer your question, I will not force you to do anything. But I have decided to stop you from achieving that evil end by doing that which you refuse to do. You know you have just lied to yourself. Oh, you lie. Not while I'm alive. And what will you do if I try it? I'll go to any land to stop you and do everything. Prince Zodima. Is that his friend or what? Hello. Onyeka, you are not going to abandon everything that you have bought for the United States. Come back here. Begin to contest 
the throne with me. Bring yourself back here and begin to propagate and project some ancient barbaric tradition. Our tradition is sacred and harmless. It's there for the welfare of the people. Oh, tradition is tradition. What in an abandoned? If a chimel and you know, if you look at a man, Addiction of our people It's about my brother on the throne. Forget it. I'm not interested. Honey, I think you're taking this whole thing too far. Good night, Nara. Go to bed. My husband, please listen to me. I want you to have a rethink. So Chief Udimba, so tell me what brings you to my house. Whatever the toad is chasing in a broad daylight must be dear to it. I agree with you. I have waited to hear from you concerning what I told you the last time. For which we promised to lay us with the gods. I didn't hear from you. That's why I'm here. Chief Udemba, the gods have not said anything. That is why you didn't get a message from me. Do you mean that the gods have not said anything? The gods are silent. Dika, the gods must not be silent at this hour. No, 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 this is not the right time. The gods must speak. Yes, their silence is not good at this very moment. It will destroy a lot of things in this kingdom. No, they must speak, oh. They must speak. This is not the time to remain silent. Chief Udemba. I am just an ordinary messenger of the gods. Who am I to speak when the gods have not spoken? No. 
they must speak. There is something go wrong in this kingdom. How can they remain silent? It's not time for them to remain silent. It's not true. They must talk. Because I tell them to talk. They must talk. What do you mean? Are they deaf and dumb? They must talk. Watch your words. Chief Udemba, watch your words. That is his cup of tea. I have made my decision, and my decision is final. So what happens to your education? I don't know for now. Don't you think your father will not be happy with you if you abandon your education because of the throne? He really wanted you to become a medical doctor. Oh no, well, let me ask you one simple question. Which one is more important, being a medical doctor or to secure the throne and at the same time to secure the culture and tradition of our people? Which one is more important? May the will of the gods be done. Now you come. You say... Exactly. He said I should um, go ahead. Good. But I hope you are aware that you will not perform this ritual or be crowned king if you are not married. A pack of cold juice, two glasses of a small spoon. As it pleases my princess. Oh, my princess. To be honest with you, I don't think you see what about this. You think so? Yes, I do. I mean, he can't possibly want to be the king when his elder brother, I mean, the heir apparent to the throne, is still much alive. It's not possible. You don't know Prince Nico very well. Trust me. I can tell you when he is serious and when he's joking. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Yes. You know, I I know he's just trying to do everything possible to save the throne and the royal family. But my problem right now. It's my husband. He has vowed to stop you at all costs. Ha! Huh. That is a big problem. Serious or not? The problem is more than serious. <sighs> so, what are you going to do? I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. Kitchen door, now am I not talking to you? Have I not made it clear to you that there will no longer be any food for you in this house except to do what I've asked you to do? This is a very that's this is a specific joke. Are you hearing me? I don't want to hear this rubbish. Please, I am hungry and I need to eat something. Okay, please give me the kitchen uh, key. Did you come to this house with any kitchen keys when you were leaving your father's house? This is my house, and my word is law. Go and do what I asked you to do. Really? Yes. Yeah. Hey, what, 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 what do you think you're doing? 
What does it look like I am doing? Yeah. Eh? Eh? I can't be starving in this house and you are here enjoying. Oh, my Agnes, mm -hmm. I can take any joke but not with my bottle of beer. Drop this bottle of beer before I descend on you. I won't. Eh? Oh, Agnes, come, 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 back, come, come, come back here with my bottle of beer. I will drop it. I will drop it. I will drop it. I will drop it. I will Uncle. I am here for us to discuss something very, very important. Mm. I hope there is no problem at the palace. Uh, not at all. Uh, there is no cause for alarm. I'm, I'm, I'm all ears. Go ahead. Uncle, I have decided to do that which Prince Uzodima has refused to do. Are you sure you understand the weight of what you've just said? Of course, I do, and I'm, I am very serious about it. You see, uncle, I can't sit back and watch the image of the royal family being dragged to the mud and thereby causing problem to the royal family. <laughs> Hi. Very good. Which means you are no longer that little Onyeka that I used to know. Maturity has set in now. Hey, hey. hey very good news. But there is a little problem. You know, you are still a bachelor. You are not married yet. And you are still grappling with your education. Oh, uh, talking about um, education, uh, that is not a problem at all. The only place I, I would say I see a little problem is the aspect of a wife. But I promise you, Uncle, I will get a wife as soon as possible. Uh, uh, did you mention that to Prince Uzodima, your brother, or... You don't want him to know about it? Uh, yes, sir. I did. I did. Uh, and what did he say? He said he would go to any length to stop me. I said it. This is where the big problem lies. Oh, yes. This is the huddle. Naima, please, I want you and my daughter to know that stubbornness does not pay anyone any good. Rather, it destroys. What are you saying? Because I'm lost. Please, my son, I want you to reconsider your decision concerning the throne. You can't fight the entire kingdom. Besides, your decision is affecting us negatively. My dear, we stand a chance of being excommunicated if you do not do what you are supposed to do as a prince. On the other hand, my husband has denied me access to my kitchen. He has seized the key to my kitchen. He said I will not eat anything if I did not talk sense into your head. Why would he even do something like that? What sort of question is that? Did you not hear her? I mean, if you had done what is expected of you, will all these things happen? Will it? Huh. <laughs> ah, life. What shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Ah. Mama, I beg you, please, when you get back to the house, kindly appeal to my father-in-law to give you the keys to the kitchen. 
And in the event that he refuses, I want you to see it as one of the sacrifices you have to make as a Christian. Another sleepless night, my husband. What is really bothering you this time? Prince Onyeka was here earlier today. What did he come to do? He said he wants to do that which his older brother, Prince Uzadima, refused to do. I, you are not serious, are you? How can I joke with something that is as serious as this? Then there is trouble. There is more to this than what we are seeing. <sighs> tradition is tradition. Odinana banyo. If a jimalanyo. If a lomenana. I was told that you wanted to see me. Oh yes, please. I need for us to talk. Please sit down. You want us to talk? Yes. I hope all is well. Oh yeah, well, all is well. Please sit. Oh, all right, I'm listening. Well, you would agree with me that um, the past few weeks hasn't been particularly smooth between the both of us. I called you here to let you know that I'm tired of fighting with my brother. I'd like for you and I to shame our enemies and Kept back to the way we used to be, you know. We used to be this very loving, peaceful, indivisible family. My brother, I, I do not have any problem with you. The only problem we have is your refusal to do what you are supposed to do as the crown prince of this kingdom. Ah, Onyeka, as an elder brother and as a crown prince of this kingdom, there are things that I see and know that you do not see and know. Maybe sometimes I come off the wrong way, but I'm just being a protective brother. since you declared that you would go ahead to perform the blood rituals that I refuse to perform. I haven't been myself. Please. Please. Take that off your mind. So, what do you want me to do? Come on, you already have the answer to that question. My brother, I cannot take back my word. The only way I can take back my word is only when you agree to do the ritual. But if you refuse to do the needful, I will never. Can you reason with me? Please. 
I'm serious here. Since you are not ready to do the needful, Father, please listen to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen to you. Why? Yeah, what is your problem? What is your problem? Can't I have peace of mind in my own house again? Huh? I'm sorry to disturb you. I'm just saying that you should give mother her kitchen keys. Why? Give me five reasons out of out of twenty. In fact, one good reason why I should give her the kitchen keys. Because she, she's been complaining of hunger. Huh? And she, she needs to eat to stay alive for you and for me. Uh, did she not tell you that I said she will never eat any food in this house? Until you and your husband see reasons and do the right thing. Did she not? Uh, uh, tell me. Uh, has your husband changed his mind? Not really. But, but what? But what? So you and your husband want to put me into trouble. You want me to just suffer from what I know nothing about. Simply because my daughter is married to the prince. A marriage I never wanted to give my blessing to. But for the insistence of your mother, I have to suffer. If only you had listened to me. I married that, that rich young man, Daniel. I wouldn't be living in this abject poverty. Now, now, now tell me, what, what has the prince done for me since he got married to you? If you had married Daniel, a rich young man, don't you think our lives would have changed? Don't you think I would be a happy man and have peace of mind? Father, please, please. Let's not go there again. Then, go in there, pack those foodstuffs you brought for your mother, and take them back to the palace. Otherwise, I will destroy all of them. I will destroy them. I, 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 cannot, I cannot come and suffer for, 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 for something, for another man's sin. Mbano. It will happen, I can leave me alone. Pack them and go. Pastor, I tried today to have a conversation with Onyeka. I tried to convince him. I did my best to talk to him, not to get involved in that barbaric tradition. But Onyeka did not listen to me. He felt I was talking out of point. Hmm. Something is wrong. I agree. All is not well. Pastor, I think that my brother has been bewitched. Who are you referring to? Us? The elders. The elders. The people who have bent on me. Performing an evil ritual just to become king. Those men can do anything, Pastor. Prince Uzodimba, let's not think towards that direction for now. You will not blame me. These men can do anything. How else do you explain that my brother, with all of his education and achievements, with all that, of that exposure, with everything that he has achieved in life, he don't want to get himself involved in that devilish act just to become king. It's not right. Something is wrong. I think there's more to that. Pastor, I'm here because I want you to speak to him. I am positive that you, you can convince him. As a matter of fact, you're my last resort. Please, speak to him. Yes, you're my last resort. Talk should... to him, yes. Talk to him. Tell him not to get involved in that that ritual. It's ritual. It is devilish. It is dirty. Uh, are, are you sure he's going to listen to me? 
You know your brother. I have faith, Pastor. I have faith that through you, God will touch his heart. Okay. I'll try my best. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, <clears throat> uh, my prince, mm. the world do I owe this August visit, or do I call it royal visitation? I hope I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you're right. Mm -hmm. um, Mazi, <coughs> you see, Mazi. we are... Don't forget in the hurry that I play with you. It's okay. Okay. <coughs> yeah, Mazi, mm -hmm. our people say that it is good to give honor mm -hmm. to whom honor is due. Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And on that note, <coughs> We have come with this. <laughs> oh, oh, my <laughs> job. Oh, you're welcome. You are really welcome. I am <clears throat> but my son. You see, uh, I don't really understand the angle you are coming from. Neither do I know where you are heading to. Uh, but uh, I would like you to to, uh, to refresh your statement. Put it in a language that I will understand. I mean, break it in a, a layman language that I will understand. Yes, and I You see, my son, my son, my son, my son, my son, my son, and in the other hand, we also found out that the odor of food belongs to you. Yeah. Hmm? Yes. <laughs> so, you know, as sons of the soil, that is why we have come to declare our interest in making the odor of food ours. Mm. <laughs> you have spoken very, very well. You are a son of the soil. Mm. You are spoken like a son of the soil that you really are. Uh, but if I may ask, who amongst you <coughs> wants to pluck the Udara fruits that you saw? I am the one, Mazi. Ah. Yes. Oh, that is good, my prince. You are the one. That is great. I've had you. But I will have to as a known on moon women to meet with my family and deliberate on it. Okay. Then I'll get back to you. Hmm? Okay. Why have you decided to punish the people around you? I don't know what you're talking about. My innocent mother is suffering. Because you have refused to do what is expected of you. If you'll be gracious enough to stop speaking in parables and tell me how I have contributed to your mother's suffering, it would really help. Please speak in a language that I can understand. What have I done? You're very much aware. My father seized my mother's kitchen keys and banned her from eating in the house. My mother is starving in her own house because of you. So now you blame me for your father's action. How? How am I responsible for your mother's ugly fate? Why are you acting as if you do not know what will befall my family if you do not do the right thing? You know my mother played a very important role in convincing my father to give his why have you decided to punish the people around you? 
I don't know what you're talking about. My innocent mother is suffering because you have refused to do what is expected of you. If you'll be gracious enough to stop speaking in parables and tell me how I have contributed to your mother's suffering, it would really help. Please, speak in a language that I can understand. What have I done? Prince Uzadim, you're very much aware. My father seized my mother's kitchen keys and banned her from eating in the house. My mother is starving in her own house because of you. So now you blame me for your father's action. How? How am I responsible for your mother's ugly fate? Why are you acting as if you do not know what will befall my family if you do not do the right thing? You know my mother played a very important role in convincing my father to give his blessings to our union. And right now, he is using that against her. Uzodem, I beg you in the name of whatsoever you respect so much to do what is expected of you so that my father can release my mother's kitchen keys to her and give her access to food in the house. Else, there will be no food for you in this house again. You are threatening me. Call it whatever you like. Chief Udemba, are you sure of what you just said? What kind of question is this? Chief Udemba, he asked you that question for us to be sure of what is going on. So that we know how best we can handle the situation. The prince came to my house to deliver this message by himself. This is serious. I want you people to go and do everything within your powers to ensure that he does not become the king, no matter the cost, how food the bill. Uh, Chief Ujemba, we have heard what you said. Uh, it is not going to be an easy task. But if you make money available to us, we will come up with a good reason. I have a problem. My prince, now I understand why you sounded so urgent on the phone. Kenneth, I want to see you in the village first thing tomorrow morning. I became very worried. <laughs> Kenneth, my good friend. My prince. First, I am sorry for putting you under undue pressure. You see, the situation at hand needed an urgent attention. Makananda buys na no buy also. Abanyiri yajebwe. Well, um, I understand better now. But, but my prince, how come you didn't, you didn't deem it fit to tell your good friend all that has been happening? Oh, uh, once again, I am sorry. As I felt that the situation will be good as soon as possible. I never knew the situation would turn out this way, the way it is right now. <clears throat> it's all right. So, you stand a better chance of becoming the king of our land. Oh, yes, yes. You see, uh, Kenneth, I want to tell you something. 
I am doing this because of the tradition of the land and for the image of the royal family. Kenneth, as a matter of fact, if my brother wakes up tomorrow and says he wants to be the king, believe me, I will step aside for him. <laughs> my prince, you are... You are not complicating the issues. I, I don't understand. So if you step down for him, what becomes the fate of the girl we went to see her people today? My prince, I know you are doing all these things because of our tradition. You can never be crowned the king of our land if you are not married. Kenneth, you're right. Yes, you're right. But I have to tell you something. I love the former. Even if my brother decides to do the needful, I will still go ahead and get married to a former. Mm. Oh, yes. It's all right. But then, one last question. Okay. What happens to your education now? I will not talk about my education for now. Can we not have peace in this palace? Elders, why are you all here again today? <laughs> The death that will kill a puppy does not allow it to perceive the smell of an excretion. Oh no. Can you not beat about the bush and just hit the nail on the head? Tell us why you're here with this man today. You have two weeks, two weeks to either perform the ritual or have you, the entire royal family, banished from this great kingdom? Great kingdom of Fubuama and Yogo. Oh no, has he gotten to this level? In here, it's a native egg. And with this native egg, in this clay pot, the palm front, the broom, with them, we shall sweep all of you out of this great kingdom of Obama and you. Be warned. Be warned. Oye le chadi na na kamba, ne chechia kamba. Whoever the challenges, tradition. Challenges the gods. My priest, please, don't. I beg you in the name of God, please. Lord God, let you all promote evil. Can you people not see the amount of evil that all of you are promoting in this palace? But today, it comes to an end. My prince, please, I beg you, do not attract the wrath of the gods upon yourself. I am not afraid of the gods. For he that is in me is better than he that is in their gods. Let their gods unleash his wrath on me and let me see. It's nonsense. Must to come <laughs> What have you done? I don't know what has gotten into our brother. 
His mind is seriously made up to destroy us. I didn't see the port and other items when I drove into the compound. That's because our older brother destroyed them and threw them away. What? Yes! He threw them away immediately the elders left. I tried to stop him but he overpowered me. Why is Princess Odima bent on destroying us? Why is he doing all this? I don't know. I don't know. But I believe if you were here, you would have been able to stop him. That's by the way. I want to see the parents of the girl I want to marry. Serious? Yes, serious. I'll be performing the marital rites in few days' time. <gasps> Prisunika, you are really serious about this? Of course. You know, whenever mm. I set my eyes on doing anything, I go all out to make sure I achieve it. Of course you do. Agnes, what are you doing? What does it look like I am doing? Uh, hmm? As you can see, I am taking my breakfast. In whose house? Have I not warned you that you must not touch or eat anything called food in this house? Oh, Agnes! Oh, you decided to disobey my order. Why? No. I did not disobey your order. Hmm? I'm just taking my breakfast. Hmm? And where did you get these things from? My daughter Nora brought them for me. Hey. Your daughter? Hmm. Of what help is your daughter to me? Your do so your daughter Nora now has the effrontery to tell you to disobey my orders. Eh? Of what help is your Nora to me? Look at your partner. Look, look at where you are staying. And in table. Absolute cheers. Of what help since she got married to the prince. Even the stupid prince no way. Okay, if you cannot help me as hair apparent and a prince. Now, do the needful thing. Become a king so that at least I will have royalty in my blood. Eh? And you are here drinking tea. I'm not ashamed. That, 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 will it, if, if you try it, shame on you. Man, what are you trying to Shame on you. If you try it, I will pour this thing on you. It's no food for you. Go and tell him. Change his mind and do the needful. Let him become the king. Do the rituals. We will become great. Royalty. Are you not ashamed? My poverty is bad. I am tired of all this nonsense going on. See? Now, what is all this now? Eh? They want him to hear Koro. Who do you want to hear Kabikon? What is all this? What is the meaning of this? Out. You are not allowed into this premises. What do you mean I am not allowed into this premises? Says who? That was an order. Leave before I use my powers on you now. You're talking nonsense. How? What is going on here? My prince, I came to see my friend Nora, but this guard here wouldn't let me in. Why do you want to see her? Nothing really serious, my prince. I only came to pay her a harmless visit. What advice have you given to your friend concerning her husband's refusal to do what the tradition demands? My prince, the princess said her husband's mind is made up. I tried talking to her. Meaning you've not advised her. You are not a good friend. And your time is not needed here in the palace. But Please. my prince, I... Don't say a word. Leave. That? My prince, you know what happened to you if anyone flaunts like others. As it pleases you, my prince. Now move it!
Yes, hello? Chief, I have it on a good record that Prince Onyeka is interested in the girl I want to marry. I heard he was there yesterday with his friend to make his intentions known to the girl's father. You mean my own Prince Onyeka? Chief, from the way you sound there right now, I can tell you you have no idea about this. I'm just hearing it for the first time. Why will the prince decide to embark on a journey like this without telling you that this is uncle? Who is now standing in like his own father? I wish I know. Chief, please, I want to tell you to beg him to leave my girl alone. Informa is mine, and I will never allow anyone to take her away from me, not even him, Prince Onyeka. That's the spirit. Listen. Fight for what is your right. Eh? You have everything within your powers to fight and win on it. How come nobody told me that Prince Onyeka was here with his friend yesterday to see me? Papa, why are you both silent? Ifama, mm -hmm. your father is in the best position to answer that question. Ask him. Papa? Ifama, I did not tell you because it was not necessary to do so. Eh? Yes. You did not necessary. Papa, a man came here with his friend to ask for my hand in marriage. And you sit down here and tell me that it's not necessary. Ah! If I'm, just calm down. Boy. Why, why, why? Why must she calm down? Allah how to rant. Talk to me. Talk to me the way you like. Now, listen. You must not marry Prince Onyeka. Mike is the man for you and that is final. Papa. Papa, I will never marry that man. I will never marry him, Papa. No. I will marry him, and I will try it. You will never marry him. No, no, okay. That's all right. We shall see. I will never marry him. You will never, never in this house. Mama, maybe, I left everything I was doing as soon as I received your call. I hope all is well. All is definitely not well, Prince Onyeka. I have a reliable information that you have vowed to perform the very ritual which your elder brother, Prince Uzodima, refused to perform. The information you got is absolutely correct. But I still do not understand why you gave me such an urgent call because of this. As a pastor, and a very close friend of the royal family. It is my duty to ensure that I guide you rightly on issues like this. What you are about to do is wrong. It is wrong before the eyes of the church and before God. Pastor, do we have to go over this all the time? If I had known that this is why you called me, believe me, Pastor, I wouldn't have been here. Prince Onyeka, why will a Christian like you allow these people to manipulate you into this? What you're about to do is wrong, is very wrong. The church frowns seriously at it. Pastor, this has nothing to do with the church. This is purely culture and tradition of our people. It baffles me how we got to this point. Tell me, Pastor, how can we throw away our beautiful custom and tradition because the white man told us that it's barbaric? What is barbaric about the tradition of our land? Tell me, answer the question, what is barbaric about it? A harmless tradition, a harmless ritual, that gives us the platform by which we choose our king that is void of evil. The king that will rule us in truth and in justice, Pastor. Pastor, before I became a Christian, I was first a man of Obama in your global kingdom. A man that believes so much in tradition and culture of our people. If the white man has vowed to protect his religion with everything he has got, I, Prince Onyeka, has vowed to uphold the custom and tradition 
of my people. Tradition is tradition. Odena na banyo. If a jimalan you know. If you know me na na. My love. Who is your love? Why are you calling me your love? I have warned you times with that number that I am not your love and I will ever, never ever be your love. Uh, calm down. Am I the only beautiful girl in this town? Calm down now. Why don't you let me have peace of mind? Calm down your voice. You're embarrassing me. Embarrassing you? Oh, you have not an embarrassment yet. Well, what is wrong with you? Am I the only beautiful girl in this kingdom? Why won't you let me have peace of mind? What did I do to calm you? Calm down now. Eh? I know you too well you're not the only girl in this village but it is you that my heart beats for. Tell your heart to stop beating for me because it will keep on beating until it falls off or breaks off completely what is wrong with you i am in love with somebody else i don't love you so stop disturbing me don't you dare leave your beauty for me ever again the very next time you will try to leave your hands on me you will regret what i did to you useless man if i'm a, you're missing a lot of... come let's go you're missing a lot. Be a kangwagi something. Eh? I don't like this, your attitude. Please. Your simple love, you cannot love someone. You are mine, don't worry. <coughs> My fellow elders, I think uh, the best thing to do is to allow Chief Demba, the younger brother of the late king, to perform the ritual and become the king. <coughs> Kono, why must you say such a thing? Did you hear what Ono said concerning um, Prince uh, Onyaka? Oh. <laughs> I know we all have the right to say whatever we like. And I support what Ichie Okono said. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Chief Udemba is more experienced when it comes to culture and tradition. Having said that, I am of the opinion that Chief Udemba be made the king of our kingdom instead of Prince Udemba. There is no way we can crown Chief Udemba. When our late king still have a legitimate song that is very interested to perform the rituals and become our king. Ichioba, what are you saying? The person in question is not married yet. Oh. And we know that the tradition does not support or allow any man to be crowned king without having a wife. Mm -hmm. hmm? What are we saying? Huh? Well, um, you raised a very good point. Yeah. That reminds me of something. So let me see this opportunity to let you all know that Prince Unyeka has already started the process of getting money. Wow. And uh, as we speak, let us, by this time next week, it will be true for the money. Yeah, of course. <laughs> No. You could imagine. Uh, uh, let's be sure that he's not being persuaded. Yeah, to do exactly. That. Oh, nada, manya, manya. Mm -hmm. I don't think giving your husband to be the kind of attitude you just displayed is simply the best. Jane, what exactly is wrong with you? Why are you calling him my husband to be? Listen, I'm not going to marry Michael. Well, your father is against you marrying Prisonyeka. If you ask me, I would say you should just accept his, his proposal. By the way, he looks way richer than Prisonyeka. I don't care if he's richer than Prisonyeka. I will not marry him. Okay. Why do you hate this young man? What exactly did he do? Ask me. Hmm. Like I said, hmm. I don't like him. And this young man is so arrogant <laughs> and full of himself. My dear. And I don't see myself spending the rest of my life with such a character. My dear, let me tell you something. It is very difficult for you, eh? To find a young man like Mike, who is rich, that's not arrogant and full of himself. Oh. Mm. Yes, because men are the same everywhere. I beg to differ. My Prince Onyeka mm. is different. That is because Mike is richer. Yes, Mike is richer than him. You are very wrong. Let me tell you something. 
My Prince Onyeka is a well-mannered young man. Despite his position and exposure in life, he is still very humble. And if I may ask, <laughs> who told you guys that uh, very... Mike Mike is richer than Prince Onyeka? It's clear. Girls, please. I don't think getting into the argument of who is richer than the other is important right now. All I wanted to do is to sort out things with your parents, especially your father. Well, I don't care. I have made up my mind to marry Prince Onyeka and nothing anyone says or does will make me change my mind. You're very stubborn. That is fine. Please, let's go. I don't like let's this gossip. Go. I don't like it. Let's go. I don't even know what this mic did to you. Eh? Mazi, hmm? you needed to see the way your daughter humiliated me on the road before her friends. And those two idiots were there watching without saying or even doing anything to stop her. Hmm. This is strange, oh. Honestly, strange. Are you sure you're saying the truth? What kind of question is that? Are you saying that I'm lying or I don't even know what I'm saying? <coughs> Please, my in-law, don't be angry. I really want to apologize to you on behalf of my daughter, Ifoma. I also want you to forgive my wife hmm? the way she talked to you please calm down hmm? it's all right man it's okay it's okay it's nothing i trust that i want you people to convince your daughter to marry me and i will change your lives forever as a matter of fact i will buy both of you a car each and then i will build you a befitting house i will take you out of this mushroom i have the money i have the money to employ the best of all architects in the world to come build you a nice house <laughs> Thank you very much. I really appreciate and I know you can do that. But now, listen and listen good. As a matter of fact, mm -hmm. my daughter, Ifoma, she is already your wife. <laughs> I've, I, I, I've given her to you. Hey, Mazi. Whether she like it or not, nobody will stop her. <laughs> nobody. That's what I just want you to know. Mazi, Mazi. Hmm? Oh, thank you very much. She has been well. You're thank you very well. much. Well, as a matter of fact, let me appreciate you with a little token. Mm. Yes, a very little one. Both of you can have this for bread. Bread? Yes. Uh -uh. <laughs> Don't you see? Good son-in-law. I was talking about him like this. Every time you find yourself, it, well, that's friend in face. We didn't bring this money. And thank you very much. Mazi, we, you know, we'll keep it. This is small mm. compared to what you'll be receiving. Once I become your in-law. Ah, you're already my in-law. Uh -huh. yeah, without wasting much time, follow me. There are things I have in my car for my wife, if I'm a... mm -hmm. Follow me. Kaiga. Follow me. If I'm an asshole, you saw Kaiga. Will you come oh, Come quick! Ah ah! I'll you! Hey hey! i Kenneth, I don't know why Pastor Raymond will not leave me to live my life the way it pleases me. I don't just know why. My prince, I will not blame him that much. In fact, I will not blame him at all. You know why? It is because of the, the, the embrace that the royal family gave him, that is, that is swelling his head, that is now overstepping his boundaries. So I don't blame him at all. I don't. I, I don't know what he's thinking about. As if I am not old enough to know what is good and what is bad. But, but my prince, wait. I thought you told him that while you were with him in his office. Do you think I didn't do that? Of course I did. As a matter of fact, I went there just because of the respect I have for him. That is the truth. But mark my word, henceforth, I will never, ever step my foot in that office again. Good. Uh -uh. Is it not you again, my prince? See, my prince, let me tell you. You see that pastor? That pastor is not worth your time. It's not worth your happiness. Huh? It's not worth your joy. Are you not the lion I know? One man cartel. Cartel. See my prince. My prince, Bigo. Bigo. Forget that one. Let's discuss something very important. Okay. How is your former? Have you heard from her? Oh, no, 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 no. But we, we went there 
just yesterday. Uh, my prince, it doesn't, it doesn't mean, it doesn't matter. Listen, we don't have time. If it would warrant you to be calling her every minute of the day, good. I, I think you have a point there. You, you have a point. Yeah, sure. Uh, don't worry, I'll, I'll call her later. Yeah, sure. I like that smile. <laughs> <laughs> My friends! Odogu. Odogu Moke. Hey! Hey! Ah, Papa, Papa, good afternoon. Hey, 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 you, stop there. What is good about the afternoon that you have decided to spoil before it came? Uh, uh, Papa, what is the problem? What did we do to you now? One more word from you, and I will personally deal with you. Nonsense. Now, kneel down. I said kneel down. What? Come on. Rubbish. So, you guys are the ones misleading my daughter. Well, Papa, we are not misleading. Will you shut that to your silly mouth before I shut it for you? Were you not the ones that stood and watched her humiliate her husband to be without calling her to order? Ah, Marzi, you have just been insulting us and calling us names, even without asking us. Keep quiet, dear. So, you have the guts to talk back at me. I don't blame you. I blame my stupid daughter. Who doesn't want to listen to her? Now, you, get out of my house. I said, get out of my house. Hey, Papa, why not allow us to explain ourselves? Oh, you still want to explain? Explain, explain. Get out of my house. Nonsense. You want to explain? What, what do you want to explain? Nonsense. So, Ifoma, you have grown so big that you now have the guts to humiliate a wealthy man like Mike who wants to marry you. Papa, I've told you, I don't like this man, eh? I don't want to marry him. What are you insinuating? Now, listen and listen good, Informa. Whether you like it or not, you must marry Mike, dead or alive. Have I made myself clear? Papa, Papa, I don't know why you want me to marry that, that proud and arrogant man. Papa, Papa, I will not marry him, or I will marry him. What are you saying? Hey! Nonsense. You will not marry me. We don't marry him. Are you going to marry yourself? Or oh, if you don't marry yourself, you won't My husband, what will you gain if I die this night? What kind of stupid talk is that? Are you planning to die this night? No. I do not wish to die. Mm. But starvation may lead me to an early grave. Mm. Okuro, please. I am hungry. And I need to eat something, please. Now I know. Yeah. There's no food for you. And there can never be any food for you. What? In this house. Until you go and talk to your son in law. Eh? To do what he's supposed to do. But, my husband, why are you suffering me because of the prince? Why do you want to kill me because of the prince? Because he's your son in law. Is he not also your son in law? Mm -mm. He has never been of any help to me. If you had not insisted that we marry our daughter Nora away to him. Eh, we will not be where we are now. But it's not my fault that the prince refused to do what the tradition demands of him. Eh? Why am I paying for the sins of another man? Eh? The earlier you do what I ask you to do, the better for you. No food for you. Go and talk to the prince to do the needful. Eh? He cannot bring the wrath of the land and the gods upon, upon my household. No, never. 
Nani. Go, 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 Nani, I, don't worry, I'll go. Just give that me. That star! You think I don't know that you eat outside? You think I don't know? If if you are not eating outside, you would have reduced in size. Eh? No food for you, get out of my sight. Nani, please, man. They are saying, get out! They are, get, out of, get, get out of there and go inside. Go and sleep. Sleep, food, mba. But sleep, I allow you to sleep. Sleep. You will not die. Go and talk to the prince. Come and tell me lie. No food for you. Let the prince do what the lamb wants him to do. Okay, sleep, sleep. Sleep does not kill. Food cannot kill you. Mm. Chief Udemba, from the look of things, Chilaka and Ijoba are on the side of Prince Omega. Your statement is not so clear to me. It doesn't sound straight. From the way both of them spoke in our meeting yesterday, oh. one would suspect that they are on the side of the prince. Mm. Which means you are not on ground. Yes, you don't know what you are saying. Well, I may not be 100% correct, but my instinct keeps telling me that they are not on your side. Then if that be the case, do everything within your powers to say that you win them to my side. We need them. We can't afford to lose any of them. Chief, it's not as if we cannot let them be on your side. But but what? Stop parambulating. Go straight to the point. Tell me. Whatever. There is need for us to grease their palms. <laughs> Talking to them ordinarily. We hold no water. I mean, they do not eat anything. If we don't put something in their pocket, put mm -hmm. money in their pocket. Exactly. Because I am quite sure the prince must have lobbied them. I mean, must have given them money. Yeah. So, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, what are you yours? Money. What are you yours? What is money? Money is not my problem. Okay. Chief Udemba, I am equal to the tax. Uh, gentlemen, come to my house in the evening and collect more money. <laughs> I am equal to the tax. Look, yeah. I will do anything within my powers to see that that cap fitted into my head. Mm -hmm. Chief, no problem. Who will come? If it is money, I made money. My problem is how to spend it. <laughs> and I think this is a very good opportunity oh, yeah. to show who I am. <laughs> Listen, once I become the king, the first thing I will do is that I will visit this place, pull down this structure. You wow. deserve to live in a duplex. <laughs> you, I know, your problem. Motor, motor car, you will drive as much as you want. Give you not one, not two, but three. I'll do it. No problem. <laughs> I said I would do it. My love, what is wrong? Why is your face not bright? Are you broke? Why will my face be bright? When you refuse to let me have peace of mind in this kingdom. Am I the only beautiful girl in this kingdom? Informa, calm down. Calm down. Are you aware lots of girls in this kingdom are begging me to marry them? I don't want them because they are not succulent enough. Huh? I chose you because I love you. But I don't love you. I have been begging you to please go and meet all those girls that want to marry you. But you refuse. Why are you hell-bent on frustrating my life? Informer, informer, calm down. Hmm? Break down your pressure. Oh, no, no, begin. Eh? Marry me and I will change your life and that of your family. By the way, why are you still wearing this pendant I thought I bought some designer's dress for you. Why are you not wearing it? <laughs> Mike, I have told you that I am not interested in anything that comes from you. So you can go back to my house and go and pick all those your so-called designers from my mother because I won't wear them. And please, don't disturb me. I have a date with my prince. Allow me to marry the one I want. My princess, what do I owe this visit? Um, Udoka, 
I want you to use your position as the youth leader of this kingdom to give Prince Onika all the support he needs. My princess, what support are you talking about? Um, it is no longer news that the youth of our kingdom are no longer happy with the entire royal family due to the fact that the crown prince, Prince Ozodima, refused to do that which tradition demands of him. But the good news is, Prince Onyeka has decided to do that which the crown prince refused to do. Are you telling me the truth? Yes, I have no reason to lie to you. I got the information that the youth of this kingdom are planning a very serious <laughs> protest to force the banishment of the crown prince and the entire royal family. And this is to happen before the two weeks notice given by the elders. My princess, the information you got is very correct. Udoka, I need you to stop them. Make them understand that Prince Onyeka needs time to sort that very important thing before he can commence with the ritual. My princess, what is that one important thing he needs to do before performing the rituals? And what exactly is the support you need from us? Prince Onyeka cannot perform the ritual without getting married. He cannot also get married if you people carry out the protest. I need you people to call off the protest so that Prince Onyeka will have enough time to do the needful. Please. I can't believe what you just told me. My prince, you know that I can't possibly lie to you. I'm telling you nothing but the truth. That your father, Marziono, wants you to get married to Mike? Yes. And what happens to me? He said he would never allow me to marry you. My prince, I don't want to marry that young man. He's so proud and arrogant and full of himself. I don't love him. It is you that I love. Please, come and help me and talk to my father to allow us to get married. It's all right. It's okay. What we be, we surely be. My prince, I, I don't understand. Are you, are you trying to say that you're not going to come and talk to my father? No, that's not what I mean. I... I will find out how to handle this situation. Everything will be fine. Are you sure, my prince? Because I'm, I'm very scared. She don't have to be scared. Trust me on this. Everything will be fine. Okay, my prince, I trust you. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Just be calm. Brother? Well, how are you? Fine. Oh. But I think the princess is right. You mean the princess? Yes. What makes you think she's right? Well, I'm sorry for eavesdropping on your conversation this time around. What makes you think she's right? You and I know Prince Onyeka can't be the king if he's not married. And you people need to support him by letting him get himself a wife. Or are you planning to install another person as a king? I will always do the right thing because I do not want the gods to get angry with me. Well, I'm glad to hear that, brother. And I always want you to do the right thing, too. Um, it's true. You said you're going back to school tomorrow, right? Yes, brother. I'll make the money you need available tomorrow. They just paid us our salary for the month. I want you to promise me something. Cross your heart. What's that, brother? I cross my heart. When you get to school, concentrate. Remember where you come from. I will, brother. Make me proud. I school. will. Okay. Get me water, please. <clears throat> Marzi, <laughs> do you people know that I have succulent girls with quality shapes who are more beautiful than your daughter that are begging you to marry them? Mm -hmm. Why is your daughter doing this to me? Uh, is it because she knows that I love her so much? Why? Nah, Buto. Oh? Emma Nakira, calm down. Mm. Oh? I believe she'll come around soon. Come around me. Very soon. How? Where? 
Ah, I can see that she wants to see the other side of me. But don't worry. I will teach her a lesson she will never forget in a hurry. The problem is that small boy called Onyeka. He's the one deceiving her. I don't even know who made him a prince. But don't worry. Don't worry. I will deal with him in my own special way. Uh, please, my in-law. Anything you know you can do, do it to save the situation. But for my daughter, Ifoma, you must marry my daughter. <laughs> Ifoma is your wife. She really needs to get and married I to me. I assure you, nobody, I mean, nobody can stand between you two. <laughs> she is already your wife. She really needs to be my wife. Of course. She needs to be my wife. Or oh, don't you want me to change your life forever? I have the money to do it. I have the money to take you out of this mushroom. The money is there. Oh, may go. Okay, now but you can't mad. Oh, but oh, ah, the same. Okay, okay, guess now I got some mad words on it. Yes, you know. It's sacred and harmless. It's there for the welfare of the people. Oh. Why is this small boy? Why is he fighting me? Why is he depriving me of the opportunity, this golden opportunity, of ascending the throne of my forefathers? Why are you constituting yourself to a clog in the wheel of my progress? Why? Why? Why didn't you tell me all this why? That you had eyes on the throne. So, you've been eavesdropping. You've been listening to all I was saying. That is not the answer to my question. Well, Certain things are left unsaid. Besides, I wasn't ready for anybody discouraging me on this. Including me, your wife? Well, I, I didn't really know where you stand. I was just being careful. I understand. But listen to me. You cannot be the king by sitting here and talking to yourself. If you want to be the next king of this kingdom, just stand up from where you are sitting and start doing something. Do I take this to mean you support me on this? Will it be a taboo if I become the next queen of this kingdom? Are you coming from and why didn't you tell me you were going out uh, no, I am just coming back from the palace but I am sorry I didn't tell you before leaving the house uh, you were sleeping when I was leaving mm. and I didn't want to bother your sleep mm. Mm. and what did you go to do at the palace uh, I want to talk to the prince mm. like you said oh, you said I should go and talk to him right I want to talk to him to see if he can change his mind so that you can give me my kitchen keys and at least allow me to eat something in this house. As you can see, I am dying of hunger in this household. You won't understand this thing I'm, talk I'm telling you now. Mm. Mm. And what did the prince say? Uh, he didn't say anything really. Mm. But I am convinced that he will change as time goes on. The Agnes! Pray to your God that he changes his mind. Otherwise, you will have me to contend with. Hey, Nani, why are you sounding like this? Get now? out of my sight. I should get... I say, get out of my sight. Nani, it has not gotten to this now. Eh? What have been going to do? In a door, what do you want me to do? Nonsense. Eh? Allow me to marry the one. 
What is the meaning of this? What are you doing with my woman? Excuse me, but who exactly are you referring to as your woman? Honey, stay out of this. How dare you call her honey before me? Why are you fighting a lost battle, Mike? This is one thing men of Obama and Yogo Kingdom are not known for. Back off. She doesn't love you. It's obvious you do not have respect for wealth and power. I can see you have grown wings, and I will make sure I break those wings for you. An empty vessel that makes the greatest noise. When men are talking, kids like you are expected to keep mute and listen to men talk. Back out. No meeting can be successful for the mice where the killing of the cat is the agenda. Stay away from her. I have warned you. What I kill for a boy you saw good boy you bring it on. Wait for it. I have warned you. Can you imagine what my father is making me go through? Let's go on. Honestly, my prince, I find it so difficult to believe what you've just said now. I am serious. I... I wish you were there to witness what happened. Wait, my prince. You mean Marziono looked you in the face and told you that you cannot marry his daughter, Ifoma? Kenneth, um, if he had politely said that to me, I would have understood. But he warned me. He warned me to take Claire from his daughter. As a matter of fact, he said I should not step my feet into his compound again. Up to that. My prince, this is trouble. So what are we going to do now? I don't think we'll have anything to do. I think um, this is a lost battle. Uh, I can't just imagine that Mike defeated me on this. Mike? Who is Mike, my prince? I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't know him, but I've met him before. My prince, I, I don't want to believe that you, the masquerade I know, will just succumb for an ordinary commoner from nowhere. Who is this Mike that would de defeat you? The oracle that I know. Mm. Or do you know ah. No, my prince, that will not happen. See, I must go and find out who this Mike is. If you know where Emilia, I actually guy is me. Huh? Oh, Kenneth. I don't think we could do anything on this matter. Uh, my prince, you've known me for quite some time now. You know, I'm one person that don't accept no as an answer. I can never succumb to defeat or drop possible, my prince. There must be a way out. You see this, Mike? I must find out who he is and what he's up to. Lapomoko. 
trying very hard to bring shame on this royal family. I don't know what you're talking about. I have it done good authority. Oh, yeah. That Marziano embarrassed you a few minutes ago. And who told you that? That is not the question. The question is why? Are you trying very hard to drag the name of this beautiful family through the mud? Oh, yeah, got you. What is wrong with you? There is nothing wrong with me, Prince. Oh, yeah, got you. If this is about you becoming the next king of this land, <laughs> I am going to do everything to stop you. I promise you. Is there any other thing I can get for you? No, I'm okay. You can go. Okay. As it pleases you, my prince. My princess. <laughs> my prince. What you just said is unbelievable. Prince Onyeka. Are you sure you're not just trying to pull my legs? How can I pull your legs with something as important as this? <laughs> you needed to be there to see how much you embarrassed me. <gasps> how dare him do such a thing to a prince of this land? Huh? My princess. <sighs> that I'm a prince doesn't make me a god. You know, Marziano expressed himself. He spoke his mind. Though in a very wrong way. Wait, hold on. Are you saying you're going to let him have his way? I mean, you're going to forget about Ifoma just like that? Ah, my princess, my, my head is filled up right now. I can't really figure out what to do next, but I hope it's a hard <laughs> And why are you standing there moping at me? Nein. I am really, really hungry. Please. I need something to eat. Please. Have I not told you what to do? 
before you start eating in this house. Have I not? But I have I have spoken to the prince concerning the issue. Well, I have not seen anything to that effect. My husband, I think the prince needs just a little time for him to change his mind and do the right thing. Hey, I don't think I will be able to survive this night if I did not eat. Please. Okay. I will allow you eat this night. But be rest assured that I will not hesitate to sanction you again if nothing positive comes out of your meeting with the, with the prince in no distant time. Do you hear me? Yes. Now take. Here's the key to the kitchen. Hmm? Take little rice. Very little rice. Eh? Don't take the soup. Just cook it with oil and small salt and bring back the key. Yeah. Thank you. One more Babe, hmm? I had my comforted prisoner can yesterday and asked him to leave his wife before me. <laughs> Whoever gave you that information was not wrong at all. But the latest news in town now, eh, is that Maziono embarrassed Prince Onyeka yesterday when he went to drop it for at their house. What? <laughs> You're not even in this village. He warned him that he should never ever step his foot in the house again and that he will never marry his daughter Ifoma. Why can't Mike leave Ifoma and marry <laughs> someone else? Eh? The question should rather be, why can't Ifoma leave Prince Onyeka and marry Mike? The young man is thinking the rich now, can't you see? And he can even take care of her and the family. I don't know why she's wasting time. Wait, wait. I think Prisoneka is using charm on that girl. I don't think it's charm. Why can't she face reality? What reality are you talking about? That the father has made up his mind mm -hmm. to give her out to Mike. Mm -hmm. And there is nothing she can do about that. My dear, I'm just tired of this Mike and Informer story. Really are they the only one in this village? She should pick one person and marry. Let us have peace, I, I beg. Wonder. Ah. Every time Mikey for my Mikey for my prince, eh? Ah, eh? Our tradition is sacred and harmless. It's there for the welfare of the people. Oh, tradition is tradition. If Prince Onyeka, you are warned to drop your ambition of becoming the next king. That is, if you truly love your life. Addiction of our people. Oh, oh. Anya Gapo Mena, Omena Nabanio, Mepezio Menin. Our tradition is sacred and harmless. It's there for the welfare of the people. Tradition is tradition. Okay, but that like that. Seedless watermelon. Hey, let's go. Six foot three inches tall. Yes, come in. Uh, look at me looking all good in the style. Uh, the fitting is good. Thank you. Thank you. Onyeka. Uh, is everything okay? You're not smiling. What is the meaning of this rubbish? I 
Was I think you want to talk? Should I put in this here? Yeah. 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 Where did you get this from? Right inside my car. So it has gotten to the point where you have to drop a note of threat for me right inside my car. Excuse me? Don't pretend that you didn't hear me well. You had me clear. Huh? So this is how you want to fulfill your promise of going to any length just to stop me from performing the ritual right. What are you talking about? Come on now, stop this. Why would you even begin to think that I'll do this to you? Why? Friends. I just want to let you know that I'm aware you are behind this rubbish. This is from this. This is from this. Be warned. Be warned. If former my love, Obim, today I have come to demonstrate my love for you before your parents. As a matter of fact, I came with this beautiful car just to prove my love for you. Mm. If former, please. Marry me. And I will change the life of your family for good. Mike, thank you so much for this car. Mm -hmm. But I don't remember telling you that I need a car from you. Take this car back to wherever you got it from because I don't need it. And one more thing, I will never ever marry you. Ifoma, why are you doing this? I know you're joking. I love you. But I don't love you. Take your love to Somebody get them, I need it from you because I don't need it. Ifoma, huh? may the gods strike your mouth with the thunder for vomiting this rubbish. Ifoma, have you gone mad? Is Papa, you mad? Papa, I'm not mad. I am old enough to know what I want and what I do not want. And I don't want this man. Uh, no, no. I don't love him and I don't want to marry Ifoma, him. Ifoma, shut up your mouth. Huh? Alana Pugi. Don't you have respect for your father again? Mama, mama, mama. Will you shut your mouth up? If I'm a... Oh yeah, yeah, now Call the key. Call the key and, oh, yeah. the, and the ring. Take it. Call it in for me. Take it. Call it in now. Call the key right now. Papa, Mba. Oh, man, man. I will not marry him. If I'm a... If I'm a... If I'm a... Hey. Hey. If I'm a... Hey. If I'm a... What was the meaning of the rubbish you did outside there? I'm talking to you. Can't you talk? Have you suddenly become dumb? Mama, why is it so difficult for you people to accept the fact that I cannot marry Mike? Why? I, I don't know why you are forcing me into a marriage that I don't want. I know what is best for me as a person. Of course you must know what is good for you. And Mike is the best for you. Papa, hmm? Mike is best for you and not for me. I won't marry him. Ouch! Nonsense. How dare you talk back at me? Whether you like it or not, Mike is your husband. Ifoma, I'm so disappointed at you. I'm so disappointed at you, Ifoma. In fact, you are a disgrace to us, your parents. You must marry Mike, whether you like it or not. And that is final. Nonsense. Rubbish. I'm not going to I'm not going to I'm not going to marry him. I will never marry him. I won't marry him. Greetings to you, my good friend, Princess Nora. Greetings to you, Juliet. I must say, I am surprised with this call. I don't know if we're still friends or not. My princess, why would you say such a thing? Why won't I? Tell me, when was the last time my supposed friend visited me, knowing fully well all I'm going through right now? Mm. 
Then like how? My princess, I will seriously want not to step my feet into the palace anymore. Really? Who did that? This is the very question I have tried to avoid and that is to stop visiting you. Can you please go ahead and tell me who said that to you? If I must tell you, you will definitely promise me that you will not make troubles with the person. It's okay. I don't make any trouble with him. But truth be told, I am shocked. I can't believe Prince Onyeka told you that. Changes, the only thing that is permanent in anybody's life. So don't let it bother you. Hope your parents are good now. I'm good. My parents are okay. Although my mother is not feeling too well. Yes. 